fought fire cultists. <laughs> we walked, we got to the, um, fire cultist place. I forget what it's called. The, um, Scarlet Moon Island Hall. Camp? Yeah, Scarlet Moon Hall. And we talked to a insider water cultist. And he wanted to work with us. And instead of that, we tried to turn him in as the water cult. But that started a massive fight. Which we fought fire cultists, some big beasts, uh, werewolves. And then it seemed like the druids that were at the front of Scarlet Moon Hall were being... Uh, what's the word? Not cursed, but like hexed or some sort of way. Charmed, poisoned. Charmed, charmed. To just say about four different things. And then we searched the place. It was just about it that I remember. Yeah. The uh, uh, hero started the fight by launching a flare of sorts into the sky and then all the troops okay, slowly started coming into battle as the sounds rang out and they all mainly fell till uh Uvi with his flipping spiritual guardian i did a good Uvi. Oh, fuck. forgetting uh the fire so it's like Adagio has a very complicated, here's how you play Adagio. Uvi's is simpler. Spirit Guardians, dodge. Spiritual weapon. <laughs> heal. And Not heal, yeah. Can't even... Be every once in a while. Yeah. Very simple, but effective. Clerics. Give that look in. Because it always loads in way faster for me than you guys. Okay, everybody loaded in. Yep. Nas, you have control of Nakarum. And Poodles? Yep, cool. Yeah, I figure it's e easier for you to do a battlesmith than anybody else. Oh, yeah. His character's a little tight, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, the character's different, but the uh, <laughs> aspects and abilities are pretty close, too. Yeah, he's more ranged than up close. All right, so you guys have... <laughs> Uh, felled what appears to be the group that was around the hill uh, other than the repeating druids and uh, searched the bodies in the campsite and are now staring down the massive uh, hall before you. I guess we enter the hall and that's the next thing we have to do. Well, looks like the from door is sealed, so we may have to climb up and head through that window we saw previously. Okay. Um, where is the ladder? You know, on the right side, you could climb up the scaffolding. We will do that. Yep.
Okay. And do we see any way to enter? Yes, there is a door about yay, but I am going to switch maps. Should log below this one. It's not the largest map. So you guys would be on the outside scaffolding. They didn't have the door on the map, so I had to kind of do it myself and redo the dynamic lighting. Um, but there's the scaffolding around the outside. You could walk around, and then the door is uh, right next to Doric. Scaffolding looks clear. I guess Doric. Uh, Dorin, would you like to do the honors of opening the door? Lurds. Lurds. Why? Showing him my eye. Everybody's having issues tonight. All right, sorry about that. Oh, there's a box. Um, so we just recapped and then uh, climbed up the outside scaffolding to where the appears to be a door on the second floor of the tower. And that's why we're on a different map. Well, there he is. I just. He's not at his computer. I'm at <laughs> I asked you to open the door. <laughs> we hear you like singing. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I had to go get make liquor. Go get make liquor. Yep. Oh, I've been drinking all day. Shut <sighs> up. This is going to be a fun session. Yep, go through. Go through the door so we can move. Where's the door? <laughs> it's, right the, okay. yeah, it's the opening. This uh, warmly writ, lit room has a large hole in the wooden floor and stone stairs leading up. And it says the north wall, but I will call that the west wall. <laughs> okay. Um, can we look down the hole? You can. What do my elf eyes see? Your elf eyes see a bunch of r rubble, and it looks like uh, moving lights, kind of like there's a small fires down there. Interesting. Uh, and the only stairs that we see go up? Correct. Interesting. Um, okay. Go up, I guess? Whoa, the fuck? Yeah, as you guys go up the stairs, I'll move you to the, the next floor. And that floor, uh, you see a dozen bedrolls scattered across the floor. Stone stairs continue upward along the inside of, again, we're going to call it the west door, even though it says north. Um, but it seems uh, quiet. Um, it does look like there's a... Uh, in the center of the room, there is a the floor looks like it's almost ready to give way in that area. Um, can can we look around at the bedrooms and stuff? Sure. Before we head up, just an investigation. Yeah. Guidance. All right. We'll have Dork do it. Systems and a guidance. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, you definitely notice that the floor is really weak in that area, like I was stating, um, where if you get too much weight on it, it may uh, bust through to the going down. That's not fun. Nothing um, in the bedrolls. Uh, bedrolls, um, 
couple straw stuff pillows rubber rat somebody's got for a toy but seems strangely quiet considering all the action that's been going on okay uh, well that's odd there is nothing in the personal belongings but i guess we can head up watch the floor well, I'm okay then. Take, I'm gonna take point. Walk first up. Okay, you going up the stairs first, Doran? Yes. Okay. You guys would be behind them. Yep. You guys are gonna move to that section. Yeah. You guys can situate temporarily. Is this where we came up, or is this? Yes. No, you came up from the uh, southwest. Um, okay. And uh, this quick glance at the room, you see a bedroll, a desk, a bookcase. Uh, the ladder on the northern wall leads up to a trap door in the ceiling. And then you see a older man in robes uh, sitting at the desk, uh, smoking a pipe. And uh, looks like he just finished uh, reading a letter. And he uh, turns and stares up to you guys. Evening. Oh. Hello there. Good evening. Uh, you're the ones causing all the noise outside. Oh, no. We took care of the people with the uh, noise outside. It was a water cultist. <laughs> water cultist. Silly idiots. I take out the robes as I took the robes, unless you burned them. The tattered fire cultist robes, or no, there was a water cultist robe. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. And what brings you to my tower? Information. <laughs> Information takes a puff of his pipe. What information do you have for me? Oh, no, we're looking for information. <laughs> um, as in, who are you? What is this place? Well, obviously, this is Scarlet's Moon Hall, and I go by the name Elizar Dryflagon. And mm. you are? Well, Elizar and Irodissa. Autumn. And your friends? Dorn. Uh, yep. Uh, Short and simple. Also with a flame last name. Huh. And I've answered your questions. Um, why are you here? Well, that would be the information that we were gathering. Also, um, there seems to be an issue with the amount of people worshipping fire recently. What did he say his name was? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I put it under his name so you can okay. see it. Thank you. It's uh, causing things to go out of whack. Well, that is what fire does, is it not? Mm. Mm. Yes, but there's been issues with there was a large construct slash elemental out front oh. and it decided to attack the people around. Well, that's what happens when you play with fire. You get burned. Something most of us learn as children. Mm, obviously. Uh, I look over him real quick, and does he look like he has any burns on him? Um, here and there, but not anything, like, significant. Like a little scar on his cheek, maybe. Okay. Um, 
It looks like you've played with fire a bit yourself. Uh, there's definitely uh -oh. a couple you guys tiles outside. Some of you look like you've been through some fire yourselves. I'm more of a on the waves kind of guy. On the waves. You trying to tell me you're a watcher cultist and you walked into here? I'm definitely not a water cultist. Well, unless you have information for me and what I need, this conversation is starting to bore me. Do you know where the other cultists are? What do you mean by other? Water, earth, air. So you just assume anybody who's near a bunch of fires is a fire cultist? Well, the ones that were outside were fire cultists, and they seem to be protecting this building. True enough. He takes another puff of his pipe. So either you're a their prisoner, or as I can tell by your burns, you've been playing with fire quite a bit as well in your life. Um, following my context clues, that would make you part of the fire cult, correct? As we have already taken out a water cult, and we know where the other ones are. How about a trade of information? How about we don't? And as he takes another puff of his pipe, you see out of it a bunch of steam and smoke starts to rise out of the pipe. And you see little creatures form into the steam and the smoke. And they go, yeah! And they pop up okay good news bad news guys uh i can hit everyone this is a 10 foot room <laughs> yes that's a good that's the good it. news bad news is it's a 10 foot room uh probably not the best idea i but resisted so up to go you. ahead it's the only idea i don't know what you're talking about you are about 120 feet up inside of a wooden structure what could possibly go wrong everything <laughs> I, I see no problem to your point there so all these creatures just came out of the smoke pipe from what it appears yes okay yeah a little method spot look at look at that yep kinds you have not fought Shadow you guys room. you guys fought Live i think problem. like dirt and mud before yeah I think we put like a These dust are... one before, that's about it. Yeah, that's dust and mud. This is why you don't vape. Okay. As I'm taking the head out of a pipe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, everybody get their initiatives. One, two, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, fucking hell, that's delicious. <laughs> We need to buy more bread. Fucking mango tequila is delicious. And this thing is going to fly over here. And it's going to go over to Doran and Adagio. And you see it opens its mouth and a blast of uh, smoldering ash just comes flying out of its face at you. And you both need to make deck saves. As it does necrotic damage, right? Right? Dex, uh, do I have to be raging for... No, I don't think so. When, uh, nope. see it. Yeah. Dex saves. Okay, so, Doran, you are okay, but Adagio... You are blinded until the end of this guy's next turn. As your eyes are blasted with a blast of uh, ash. 
I am using the learning at the moment. You know this, Rob. Hmm, bad news, guys. Okay. All of my spells are based on sight. Uh oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So, I, except shield. No, nope, I, I didn't see it. Yeah, was it a high DC, but you rolled low? Um, hold on. Oh, I don't Could have to see the shield. I technically have Dork do his Flash of Genius, and would that pass it for 12? I uh, I would say not at this point, because we've passed that. Okay. Oh, shit. So he's got two more. Yeah. Thinking ahead for multiple characters is difficult. No, I got it. Um, this one right next to Ubi is just just gonna take a swipe at Ubi with a natural 20 to hit ah oh, they're rolling it in early yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit yeah you take six slashing ow 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 I drop now sarcastic bitch. um and this one's going to turn to Eero and Doric and Foodles and open its mouth and shoot a blast of hot cinder at U3 for uh, deck saves for U3. Doran. Or Eero. Doric and Eero and where's the Foodles? Just the 21. Wouldn't be 25. That's more than enough. <laughs> okay, <I'm not> sure. <laughs> uh, and then Foodles and Doric. Too. Right. That was photos. Okay. Are you going to Flash of Genius or no? No. Okay. Uh, so Steel Defender is blinded till uh, next round. Got it. Uh, now it is Doric's turn on a blinded steel defender. Yep. Can they be um, one? Uh, that's a good question. Let me look. I didn't think steel defenders could be blinded. They what can. constructs? It can't be surprised, and it can't be poisoned, charmed, exhausted, or poisoned. Okay. Yeah, it's got a bunch of immunities, but blind it is not one. Weird. Uh, what would do? I mean, it's basically got ash on its windscreen. Yep. Yeah, he needs to turn his windshield wipers on. Um, Dork is, I guess, going to. Was he at? Shocking grasp. On Grab which, the wind. The on one which, in front of him. The one the, to the south? Uh, this one. That one? Okay. Which was the one that just blasted him, right? Uh, no, that one's the one over t further away. That one? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's... Fifteen? Fifteen will hit. Low roll. Three landing damage. Ooh, yeah, two and a one. Yep, as you reach out and you somehow manage to electrocute smoke. Interesting. <laughs> With your bare uh, hands. <laughs> yep, yep. Grasping it air and it actually happened. Uh, for bonus action... Mr. Foodles is going to attack the same one at disadvantage because blind. Okay. 13. Wow. A 13 will hit. Ooh. Yeah, not high armor class. Nice damage. Max damage. Max damage. Much better than your shocking grass. <laughs> yep. um, still there, but losing form. Okay. Um... He would just back 
up then because he knows that one can't take an attack and that one is still in range. Yep. Yeah. A question about the Flash of Genius. Is that a once per round reaction? reaction or is that like a every yeah. time? Just a I reaction. Think it's a reaction, yeah. Right, and it refills on a long rest. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was out of yeah, it's a really cool ability because he could basically add a, a plus five five times a day to a d20, essentially. Yep. Uh, I'm going to bonus action blade song. Okay. And then action. What is. Where's that? Uh, action two strikes with the Elven Rapier. Okay. Uh, which one are you going for? The one in front of me. Okay. Yeah, 22 is definitely going to hit. Okay. And swing number two. Nice. Yep, you take two quick st- stabs into his smoke and somehow managed to find a purchase to uh, damage it. Interesting. (laughs) Uh, Bonus action and action. That's it. Okay. Doran. All right. All right. Where is everybody? Uh, There. Hmm. Okay. Move here. Five. Five. And this one technically cannot use a reaction, so. Uh, bonus action you have rage. To move past it. And I'm going to take my first attack at Elazar. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's try this. Get that on, turn that on. So much shit I have to click. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, 11's gonna mess. Okay, second swing, I'm gonna have to go after him again. Oh, there we go. That'll hit, though. Uh, 27 will mess. No. Not with a natural 20. <laughs> All right, then minus some damage. Nice. So 30. 30. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then... You used uh, action and bonus actions. You got a little bit of movement. Uh, it's... That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Actually, I'll move here. There we go. Now you moved... Where? I just moved over one. Okay. Lizar's turn. Does he whoop? Uh, a stupid question, but does he look tough? Like, did the hit seem to do anything to him? After what? smashing him in the chest with a hammer, does he look okay? I mean, you might have broken a rib or two, but, you know, it's hard to tell without, you know, lifting a shirt up and copping a feel. I think it's easier to say it looked like he took the hit fully. Action to cop a feel. Slide a hand. That's a free action, my friend. Reaction to feel up the wizard? (laughs) Can I feel his components? Uh, Oh god. (laughs) Children. Is he enjoying it? Can I seduce the wizard? Uh, Moving on. Yeah. (laughs) Beats the shit out of him and then seduces him. How's he doing? That's my turn. Okay. Check for a wand. Um, he is going to cast it a spell. Dispel. Well, he could. I mean, dispel is a spell. But he's going oh, to cast. He's going to cast if, spell. I'm like, what the fuck is he dispelling? You. He's dispelling Doran. 
back to the shadow fell. Don't you fucking dare. No. What is this an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh? Only Ubi's ought to do that. I always say the wrong thing, don't I? I always say shadow fell. Um Nope, he is going to cast a spell and you see a sphere of yellow nauseating gas just fill the room as the area becomes heavily obscured. The fuck? It sounds like cloud kill. <laughs> but it wouldn't matter for me because I'm already blind. <clears throat> I can't see it and I don't have spell slots to do the action, the counteraction. Uvi, your turn. Make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, I gotta check something real quick, because they didn't give him his DC for his spells for some reason. You know, Interesting. Yeah, you know how they're usually preset? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Um. So he's fifteen. Yeah. Let me look at what the CR would give him. Yeah, I just noticed that. I don't know why. Because normally it's always default in with like spellcaster. This is their DC. Okay, so Uvi, you are okay. Awesome. So, what would you like to do? Well, <laughs> this is a terrible room for me with spiritual guardians. So, oh, I yeah. already know what? that. It's, it's I already know that. God awful. What room did his spell do? Sorry. It did what did nothing. his spell do? It did nothing. Mm. Okay. Really? Yeah. So as <laughs> Ubi steps up next to Adagio, I will once again say to Eliza, "Well, it seems being one with the waves isn't too bad right now." And I'm going to cast Spiritual Spirit Guardian as a level four. <laughs> level four. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> So that is your action and five feet of movement. For 18. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sorting out the shit. Let's let everybody see how ridiculous this aura is. <laughs> oh. I know. I don't know. I got this one square down here that's the safe zone. Yep, and that really, well, actually, did that very tiny space right there, but that still counts, technically. Yeah, if I moved one space more to the center of the room, everyone gets yep. it. Yeah. Um, are you doing a bonus action or? Uh, do, 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 do. No, for now I'll just keep my fun little bullshit going. So make a DC fifteen wisdom save. That's a ten. So let the damage begin. <laughs> Eighteen radiant. Uh, it's going to try to attack uh, Daggio with advantage. Wow. With advantage, that's an 8 to hit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he got a 5 and a 3. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was exciting. Um, 
Adagio, make a constitution saving throw. Um, you spend your turn, you find, find yourself suddenly retching and puking as the gas that fills the room is making you throw up and vomit. So I can't see and I can't smell. Uh, or I can't your... smell, but I don't really yep. want to smell. Yep, that's your action, so you can move, but blindly you can move, but that's it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, I was playing the dodge action, but yeah, no, fuck it, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, Wisdom save. Fuck over. <laughs> Wisdom save. Thanks for reminding me, sure. I just realized there are two different uh, beast tokens on there. That's because there's two different types. Oh. <laughs> um, boom, boom. Five or 20 feet, I should say. Did he and this save? One... No, but I didn't kill it. I'll just make sure. They got more than 18 hit points. Um, and this one opens its mouth and a blast of steam launches at Doric and his little buddy. Uh, they need to make a deck save. And then would it, would it be at disadvantage because he can't technically see? Um, let's see what blinded does. I don't remember if blinded gives you disadvantage. Uh, only for attack rolls. This is a funny and uh, oh no, fails any ability check that requires sight. So I would say an auto fail. Okay. So I rolled terribly. So Doric takes one hit point of fire damage, and Foodles takes two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take that, bastards. Nice little steam bath. It's good for the soul. <laughs> it's pretty much. <laughs> it's wisdom save. This guy saves, so ha. Huh. Only takes nine. Um, what is their cone? Oh my god, no. Adagio, no. <laughs> Yeah. What if it's flammable? Uh, this one's going to do the same, open its mouth, and shoot a blast of steam at the four of you. So you're kidding me. <laughs> so, well, so, yeah, Dagio, you fail. Poodle's auto fail. Oh, it's auto fail. Yeah. I take half damage automatically, so quarter if I fail. Yeah, I take a quarter da um, half damage. Yeah, so, again, I rolled shit. <laughs> so, Uvi, you take one damage. Adagio, you take one fire damage, because you're tiefling. Uh, uh, Foodles takes two, and uh, Doric takes one. Could I, could I have a, <gasps> any intellectuals oh. inspiration? I think he has to see it. Isn't he blind? No, the thing constructs blind. Oh. I'll be right back. Um. Oh, I, I see what you were asking. I didn't know what you were saying. Yeah, I forgot uh, what it's called, sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. Flash of Genius. Yeah, Flash of Genius, so I keep up Spirit Guardians. <laughs> Yeah. From just wait with, one for that. From one damage with advantage, you almost lost it. I mean, that's how it usually goes when I am rolling for it. Yeah, it's like when you get shot with a crossbow bolt for like two damage. I know. I'm just sitting here like I'm like counting down. I'm like, if if Nas doesn't say something soon, he's you're just gonna lose it. I didn't realize what he was doing the con save for. And then he said something about if he could have intellectual inspiration, and I thought he was talking to you. But I'm like, he's asking for inspiration for what? No, I just forgot what the ability was called. I'm, I'm toasty okay. right now, man. Uh, Daggio, you are no longer blinded. 
Wisdom save. Uh, uh, new round. Reroll damage too. Okay. Is an eighteen was kind of. Uh, I was just doing it at the top of the round. Okay. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, see, it's more anyway. Because he, he, 18 was kind of low for upcasting anyway. Um, as this one, at the start of its turn, explodes. Oh, fuck, I forgot they do this shit. Um, so as it explodes, the air, the sphere has gone from, the room has gone from heavily, or lightly obscured with the green smoke to now the area around this guy is heavily obscured. So any attacks around him are gonna be it with a disadvantage. Um, let me give him an aura. Poof. Um, this one needs to make a save. Uh, fails. And I'm just going to try to attack Doran, because why not? Uh, 13 to hit to Doran. Hello? Lords. I think 13's going to miss him anyway. Uh, has he gone for more booze? I hope not. Um, and this one has less than 10 hit points, so he is going to die and explode as well. So now that area is heavily obscured around him. Uh, Doric's turn. He needs to make a constitution saving throw. Nice. Uh, would Mr. Fools technically not be blind anymore? Because that was before his turn last time. Correct. I have three different color auras going on right now. This is confusing. That, you're good. You're good. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll hit that one. Uh, he's just going to literally take a shot in the dark. So 19 for the first one. Okay. Seven piercing against that one. Yep, it's still there from what you can tell. Okay. Twelve. Uh, twelve still hits. Ten piercing. As that one screams and explodes. Yep, it's a light coming. Yep, um, so... That is Doric, Eero, and Foodles all need to make deck saves as it explodes in a blast of steam and heat. Foodles. Doric. It's nice they're all in a row for me. Yeah. <laughs> and Eero without the four. So I rolled, uh, every time I've rolled their steam things, it's a, been a D8, and I've rolled a 2 every time. So you all took 1 damage. Oh, was the save below 11? Yes. Okay. Yeah, these aren't high DC monsters. They're just supposed to come at you in droves. Yeah, and also they're a hindrance because sight lines. Yep. Right now. 
Yeah, like Adagio's missed his first turn. Uh, anything else for his turn? I am here. Um, Fudos will move forward into the dark <laughs> and attack. Let me get that guy off the map because he exploded. Uh, for your oh, bonus you guys action. Are killing things. Yes. Um. And it was four disadvantage. Fourteen, ten force. Nice as Dork shoots down one and it explodes and runs up with Foodles and hits that. So again, the three of you need to make deck saves as it explodes <laughs> in a blast of steam, and hopefully I roll something other than a two. Which one exploded? Sorry. We all made our saves. <laughs> <At least. laughs> so you all take two damage instead of one. Hey, then... it's like we would have failed the other one. Shut up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I love you, Rob. <laughs> uh, that would be the end of his turn. Okay. Um, Eero, your turn. Make a constitution save. Uh, it would be a 12, because that one does get the con. Okay, but it's not advantage. Correct. Okay. Um, you find yourself puking and throwing up in the gas as you can't control your stomach and you start hurling for your action is throwing up. Okay. As you are nauseated. Um... And you are in a cloud of darkness at the moment as well. Yeah. So you, you do have movement, but not 100% sure where everything is. Yeah, I'm trying to think what she would do in this situation. I, th I think she would probably just stay where she is. Okay. Yeah. Um, Doran, it is your turn. That uh, darker circle around you is a dark cloud making it heavily obscured where the uh, smoke method exploded okay is it affecting me or not hit point wise but if you attack something in it you're going to be at a disadvantage because you have in trouble seeing okay i'm going to go ahead and take the uh, attack of opportunity as i'm going to move out of it wait you said if i attack in it or attack something in it both oh okay because if you try yeah, to attack mind. something in it you're not going to be able to see what's in it I'm going to recklessly try to attack this dude. Uh, the big guy? Oh, Izar. Okay. What is he? Is he human? Or what human? Yeah, humanoid. Okay. So mm -hmm. if I recklessly attack, it's going to be a normal attack, correct? Correct. Okay. Let's try it. 26? Well, if a 27 was going to miss, I mean, clearly a 26 is going to miss. You never know. <laughs> no, that definitely hits. Uh, wait, yeah. actually, at the start of your turn, you need to make a constitution save. Oh, okay. Forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just got to make sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then my second attack. Where... Now, 20. Well, a 20 hit the wizard. <laughs> a 20 will hit Elizar, yes. Okay. Not bad damage. No, not, the, not bad. Not good, but not bad. I mean, he's looking hurt. Okay. Yeah, he's not... You know, a tank. And that will be my turn. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. He takes some damage. Eight. 
And he looks over at you, Ubi, and goes, I don't like your uh, spell. Wouldn't he be in the cloud as well? Like the dark cloud? He is. So he can't see me to cast at me? And does his spell fill the room? Yes. His so is he a... needs to make con save? Uh, if you're assuming it affected him. Assuming. Yeah. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Because I feel like if you explode a fireball on yourself, breathing in gas, but unless he doesn't have to breathe or something. Or, you know, certain time, certain types of wizards can make things not affect them. Yeah. Sorcerers, usually. So, Ubi, you feel a blast of necrotic energy wash over you. Make a con save. As you take 34 points of necrotic energy. Ouch. As you feel your body just like start to like wither and decay. Uh, ow. Uh, what's the fucking, what do I need to roll for that? Um, you would, uh, it'd be a 17. Yeah, 17 DC. Which you'll probably get now that it's not like one hit point. Nope. No. And a flash of inspiration is not going to help that. I can't see you either way. Yeah, definitely won't help. Yeah, because the DC is not an 11 for his... Or it was a 17, so... Damn. Nope. Nope. As... Ubi's concentration is broken. Wow, you broke Ubi's concentration. Yeah. Level 4 spell will do that. Uh, Ubi, your turn. Make a con Make save. Constitution con save as the room is filled with... <laughs> You've been doing... Do you... Con, you don't have advantage on saves just for concentration, right? Just for concentration. Okay, that's what I thought. As you find yourself retching and throwing up on the ground as well. No bonus session? Uh, it says you spend your action that turn retching and reeling. So that would be all of your actions, I'm guessing. And just the action, wouldn't it? There's a rule saying if you can't use a bonus action, use a bonus action or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's a reason they, they made it bonus action and action. So that way, if it includes one, it includes all. Uh, well, yeah. um, stood there. What's the blue dot on him? Why is it Concentration. Blue? Oh, okay. I did make con saves for your two hits, two Doran. Okay. That's me. Uh, oh, no. This one's not going to die because of Ubi. Oh, no. I thought it was immediately going to just poof because the spirit guardians. Um, it is going to try to attack Adagio again because it missed horribly last turn. And it 11 to hit. So... I guess you'll bet. <laughs> that would hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't even think that would hit, but yeah. Okay. Shield. <laughs> I have 11 AC. <laughs> uh, now it is your turn at Agio for con save. <laughs> okay, you managed to wipe the spittle off your face and are able to take an action. Not much I can exactly do in this situation. Uh -huh. 
guess our cure wounds Uvi. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, first level. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he tickled me with the bad hand and it hurt. He used the strong <laughs> hand. It's the best I could do right now. I'll <laughs> hey. take it. <laughs> uh, bonus action movement. No, that's it. My turn. Okay. Uh, that one's dead. That one's dead. Back to the top of the turn. Oh, no. That one's dead, too. That guy's turn. That was quick and flip around. Oh. Um, this one's going to go for Uvi for a nine to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't no. like it. Uh, that one's dead. Uh, Doric's turn. Uh, con save. Yep. You are able to act and not throw up all over Mr. Poodles, who does not have to make the save. Yes. Um, why not, Chuck? Oh, who are you? Oh, well, I guess the only guy next to you. Yeah, the only one next to him. Um, Ow. Max, max damage. Wait, wait. Yeah. Disadvantage? Hate, almost. Yeah, I hate to kill the mood, oh, but it, it, it is disadvantage. Um, but wait. Oh. Oh, Wait, he is where? Oh no, he's wearing hide armor, so you don't have uh, advantage. Because shock and grass gives you advantage if they're wearing metal, right? Yeah. Yep. So they would have canceled each other out, and the nat twenty would have stayed. But oh, uh, yeah, fourteen. Yeah, 14's gonna miss. Unfortunately, <laughs> that would have been that, awesome. That would have been fucking amazing damage. <laughs> that would have been. I'm 17. sorry. Uh, seventeen will hit though. Ten force. And let me make his con save. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you are not good. You are can't get this out of your taste out of your mouth and continue to puke your guts up. You see a good berry pop out and half dissolved. I'm going to go get some air and go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thinking from royalty and being in a room full of people and throwing up all over yourself? No, nah, I'm going to go down. <laughs> See, Eero scoot out. Peace out. Um, and a as a note, it, it is still a little gassy down here because it's a 20 foot sphere. But, um, uh, but uh, the dis now the distance with the floor is, I'd say, you're out of range. I was gonna say, if I have to, I'll go prone to get air because you know, yeah. stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, no, yeah, because the floors, there's, there's quite it, it doesn't really relay on the the thing, but they're a good 20 feet apart from each other. So, okay, yeah. So, just to clear my lungs, get tears <laughs> out of my eyes. That's my turn. Uh, uh con, con save again. Yep. Oh. Uh. Blah! Do you find yourself not sucking in too much air from last round? Uh, you find yourself puking out. Your stomach contents. Can I still move? That's all could you can he, do. Could he roll a d20 to see if he throws up on a Lizar? Uh, with disadvantage because he's heavily obscured. Okay. <laughs> roll it. 2d20s. These <laughs> are <just> so dumb. <laughs> oh, with that one. disadvantage, you throw up all over yourself. <laughs> you aim up. <laughs> you you point your head up and throw up. <laughs> you, you go to like projectile do it and like whip your head backwards to forwards and then when it gets backwards you just throw straight up and just <laughs> lands all over God your damn head. It does. <laughs> just lands all over your head. But you still have your movement. <laughs> oh, I, I can still move. Yeah, you move, you just can't action. 
Hi. I'm it could there. be a free action to clear your face or vomit, though. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm moving there. Okay. <laughs> Do you lose rage? Um, I think if it's it, what if it, your turn comes up, you lose it. Uh, I think with rage, it is. He took damage last turn or did damage last turn, right? I did damage last turn. So yeah, if he doesn't take... the last turn, so if it's my next turn and I don't get damage or do damage, then I'll then it's rage. Up. So it's next turn. Okay, what is this guy gonna do? Attack the barbarian that's throwing up on himself. <laughs> he probably is the lowest AC. <laughs> I know. Bastards. Um no speed. You know you want to. And what's funny is I couldn't reckless, so be the advantage on me. Can I recklessly throw up on him? You already tried and threw up on yourself. I hate to disappoint. Um, nope. He is going to cast a spell. Oh, he's actually going to cast two spells because he's going to, I just realized, bonus action healing word on himself. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, damn it. I didn't see those earlier. Um, and you hear a clap of thunder roll out. As Doran, Uvi, and Adagio all make constitution saves. Goddamn con saves. At least I'm proficient. I cannot roll con for shit today. I know, it's my night. Um, so, Ubi, you take 15 thunder damage and are knocked into the wall. Where you're going to take another two bludgeoning damage as you smack the wall. Adagio, you take seven thunder. And Doran, you take seven thunder. But okay. also, the two methods next to you guys explode. Combo, combo, combo. Do, 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 double kill. So, uh. They're displaying next to us, Doran. <laughs> yep. So the one next to Uvi and Adagio explodes in a blast of heat and steam. Both of you need to make deck saves. I uh, take half damage. Yeah, so, uh. Well, you. Yeah. Uvi, you take three. And Adagio, you take two. As you take half and half. Well, uh, my saves have really go. fucked me up tonight. Yeah, I'm liking this. Uh, that guy explodes. This guy explodes into another blast of dark, steamy air. Okay. And that area is now heavily obscured as well. <laughs> oh, I didn't change color. The fucking obscurity. I know, that was fun. Um, so wait, the one next to me explode? Yes, but that one just explodes out like... Uh, uh, the dust cloud, basically, where okay. you guys can't see. Does a 15 oh, save? <laughs> it does not. <laughs> well, D DC 16. I'm um, so. going to stay where I am because I'm blind and throwing up on the floor. At least it's on the floor. Not that on guy's the done. Uh, Dagio, con save. Yeah, see, the problem is, I could deal with this situation. If I could just I'm cast dispel the magic. Can't save, it's not popping up. Uh yeah, it hasn't showed yet. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Well, uh, um 
First one's an eight. <laughs> First one's an eight isn't going to do it. So you're puking out, too. <laughs> Not again. Oh, sorry. Man, this is a good this is a good third level spell. I'll tell you what. I missed two spells or, or two turns of this. <laughs> uh that one's dead. Uh, whatever he's using, I want that shit. <laughs> Doric, you're up. You can get it. Eventually. I think you can. Uh, yeah, Bard Sorcerer Wizard. You there, Nas? You. Yeah. Uh, Dork needs to make a con save. Oh, that sucks because that takes Foodles out of the picture too. Because it takes your bonus action to attack. Uh, reaction. Oh, you're gonna burn your reaction for the round. Yeah, eighteen. Okay. Yeah, that'll, <laughs> that'll save. Okay. Dork mm. almost throws up all over Mr. Foodles. No, no, not Mr. Foodles. Nope, he thought he thought differently. He's like, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I couldn't throw up on Foodles. Would be a bad idea. Um, he's going to cast. I think he's just going to take two shots in the dark again. That worked out last time. Yeah, it did. Eighteen. Eighteen will hit. <laughs> Fourteen piercing. Damn, Damn son. <laughs> uh, let me do a con save. DC. 10. This guy's been... Nope, he's good. So he gets get two with that, right? 17. Oh, another tease of a roll. But yep. yeah, 17, 17 will hit. 8, Eight piercing. piercing. Low roll. 8 piercing. Oop, not that. This. Con save. Ooh, 11 con save. Just pass. 19. 19. <laughs> Damn. 5-4 <Five, four> damage. <laughs> Doric's going to come out as the uh, the damage dealer in this combat. Everyone else is puking everywhere. <laughs> he's um, got a he's pretty look- good con. Yeah, he's looking messed up. Uh, con-, oh, oh, con save. A 9. Concentration Ooh. fades. Finally. Good job, Yay. Mr. Poodles. As the stinking cloud fades. That's what the spell was. Yeah, I, yeah. I was looking to dispel it, but I needed an actual turn to do it. Yeah, because yeah, dispel so magic. Pressure. Yeah, because I was looking at his spells, he didn't have a whole lot of variety, but I'm like, you know what? This small room, stinking cloud should fuck some shit up. Yeah. That fucking Thank vampiric torch or whatever it what fucked me up. Oh no, that was blight. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was something, but it's like Jesus. Yeah, it's it's a, a save for half damage and you failed the save. It does eight D eight necrotic. Uh but that's the end of their turn. <laughs> So, Eero, you see the gas start Eero. to disperse and get thin. Yep. Um, quick breath to myself. Bonus action, Shadow Blade. And then I run up the steps because I have 40 feet okay. of movement up to him. Right. 10. Oh, wrong map. Yeah, 15. <laughs> so that's 15. 25, 30. And then it's darky dark, so. Yep, disadvantage. Uh, 16 will hit. Four psychic. Okay. Second attack. Uh, nine. Nine will miss. Uh... I don't have action search yet, so that's it. Okay. Doran, as you finished wiping the most of the puke off your face, but it's still in your hair. So since I'm still obscured, I'm going to move over to uh, here. Mm-hmm. And so, wait, the inner circle should be gone now, shouldn't it? 
Uh, no, his, his circle was 20 feet of, of stinking cloud. Those clouds last about a minute, just to an FYI, when they explode. Oh, I thought this was his thing. No, his thing I put on the DM layer because there was just too many auras going okay. on. I didn't want to throw you guys off. So it doesn't matter while I'm here or not. So I'm going to stay here. Okay. And I'm going to recklessly attack. So straight roll. Yep. Let's see. Ooh, another crit. Nice. Damn. Damn. Um. Four, that's 32, 37 damage. Nice. So, how do you want to do this? Can I say non lethal? No. Okay. Uh, smashing his head in. Just taking them all, swinging it, and denting his fucking forehead in. Man, that's a nasty image. Can you imagine? As it, as it like, turtles, it turtles down into his shoulder blades. Yeah, it's a like, oh, Ira it, runs up, gives him a headache real quick, and then you smash his head in for the final kill. <laughs> How's that for a headache? Um, anything else, Dorn? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, and as you smashed his head in, and then you hear a low laugh coming from inside of his chest as the head begins to rise, but as you look at it, the skin starts melting off of his face and his body. As it doesn't quite look like Elizar anymore, it looks like something completely different. What the fuck? What the fuck? And he goes, nah. There goes an extra attack I didn't. Okay. Yep. As you see this demonic creature come roiling out of its, his body. I want to say that. I have no idea what that is. I have no it's a lot apparently. How do I do that? Shipsy. Oh, that's ugly. The fuck? Yeah, it is. It looks like its skin melted off too, doesn't it? A little bit. What the fuck is it? As it turns towards Doran, the one who just found Elizar, and it's going to try to bite and claw you. No. With advantage, because you're reckless. Yep. So uh, have, have this thing can see in the cloud. Yeah. Cloud's gone. No, no the that obscure. well, the sinking cloud is gone. But yeah. the smoke this circles. Is, yeah, this is a well. It, and if you the first roll, even if it if it was just a straight roll, Uvi was this is a twenty on a night. That's fair. That's just making yeah, sure. that would both hit. Yep. Uh, so the it bites you for twelve piercing. Half six. to six. Um, roll a d. Oh no! As it rakes it, into, it feels something just tear from your presence and your just power and self as you lose three points of charisma. What? So, three actual points. Yep. Eat your charisma. Okay, well, I need to write down my original charisma in case this can be reversed. Reverse. Yes, yeah, do both. Okay. Um, but yes, charisma just by... Um, and the claws do... 15 lashing have to set and make a concept. Hold up. Right, and all this stuff. So, oh, wait, did the claws hit me too? Yeah, he got a 19 with the claw. So, how much was the claw damage? Uh, it was halved down to seven. Okay. Now, five charisma. 
Oh shit, you only had it in eight? Yeah. <laughs> and then you said a con save? Fucking hell. And the claws. That is the creature. Ubi. As you saw this thing come out of the melted form. Huh. Fucking go it with fire. Mm. Also, Dorn's looking a little hurt. He's, he's fine. Hmm. Goddamn piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be nice now of a shitty charisma. Oh, you could be nice. <laughs> Doran inherits Tourette's. Is that what you just said? <laughs> Doran now has Tourette's. Okay. So. Bonus action healing word myself. <laughs> oh, you're only down to six. Oh, shit. Obi got fucked up by that blight, man. But I gained eight. Yeah. And I am going to cast Hold Person. Okay. Oh. So it's humanoid. It is a humanoid shape. It needs to make a DC 15 wisdom or be paralyzed. Um, is if a fiend considered humanoid? Um, if it says humanoid, it's humanoid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, I rolled the save anyway. It would have passed the save, but either way, you cast the spell to no effect. Awesome. Well, that's me. Adagio? Oh, I mean, there's not much I could do. Uh, everyone's in the dark. <laughs> that's for everyone. <laughs> I know, but Adagio has been crippled this fight. <laughs> yeah, there's literally nothing oh. I can do right now. Uh, oh, Adagio can't fireball. I, I know I can. Oh, yeah, he could. Just sit around myself or something. Uh, but I think that would do more harm than good. Yeah. He's in the darkness, so is literally everyone else. I'm, I, over here, to hold a, I'm going to hold an action to fireball anything that comes out of darkness that's not my friends. Okay. That includes Dorian. He's not friends. No, I'm kidding. Well, he's being an asshole now, so you could say that. Uh, okay. Doric, Doric, you're up. Don't you have to save for blindness? Who's, no. It's, it's like a smoke cloud. Oh. Blindness is like pocket sand. Saving you would save the throw on that. Oh, I thought you were still blind. You just can't fucking see. No, no, I just can't see because everyone's in the freaking cloud. Yeah, this is all. There's one big darkness cloud across the. There's thing. three. Now you know how we feel, uh, Raven. Thirteen will miss. I cast a darkness once. What the fuck is wrong with you? Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen will hit. Max damage fourteen. Fourteen, nice. Totals. Thirteen. Thirteen will miss. Yeah. Rodessa. Uh, continuing my assault. Oh, <laughs> with twenty-two at least it'll hit. This is the eight psychic. Uh, and then two more, or one more swipe. Great. 
Yeah, I mean, definitely not. Uh, bonus action movement. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, Doran, you're up. Okay. Um, one second. I'm walking downstairs, so I can't really choice. All right. I'm going to recklessly swing at this thing. So straight roll. All right. Come on. I was about to say, how's this thing looking? But we can't fucking see. It looks pretty nasty. Yeah, it really fucking does. All right, come on. Twenty one will hit though. Nice. Uh, so twenty damage. Yeah, what's your what's your um rage damage? Radiant? The other thing? Yes. Divine. The divine fury is radiant. And you're using them all? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna double check that, but I do believe it is. Yeah, I was just making sure, but yeah, I think it's the, you picked the radiant. Um, yeah, it seems to do the amount of damage you expected. Okay. So swing again. Oh shit! I quit. Unquit it. So. Doesn't matter. Twelve will miss. Oh, okay. Um. As my turn, I'm going to. Mm. Bonus action. I'm going to vamp. Our uh, bonus action, Blessing of the Raven Queen. Uh, is that and... a point you can see? Ooh. You can't really see outside. You'd have to move and then attempt it, like, out of the cloud. God damn it. In that case, should I move or just fucking stay here? Okay, I guess I'll stay here. Okay. As... Hey, the creature that used to be Elizar's turn. Isn't that still Elizar? You Meta wise, don't... I know what that is, but. Have you used him before, Adagio? Yeah, I have in a fight in my end game. Uh, let's just say uh, Kaden wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you mess with his charisma. Um... The charisma wasn't a problem, it's just what I. The effect, you know the effect I'm talking about. Oh, the claws? No, not the claws one. It's the trait. Oh, yeah. It's just there's nothing here for him to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, As a 16 to hit with his bite, Doran. Fuck, because I'm not using my shield that will hit. Uh, 14 piercing have to 7. And roll a d4. What happens Losing. when you run out of charisma? It dies. Yeah, it, dies. It, it, with any creature where if any of your stats hit zero, you die. It could be con, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, all of those. Yeah, because you cannot physically survive with basically. Zero. Yeah, if you hit a zero charisma, it's like you basically lost the will and drive to live. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah, lost charisma is technically like willpower in a way. Correct. So you lost their two points of charisma. What are you down to? He's at three. Three? <laughs> Man, oh, no. My charisma you get one a, is a minus four now. Now, you're at a three, so if it hits you again with it, you could die, Doran. Depending on the roll. Just so 50, you know. 50-50. 50 50 Yeah. Yeah. Um, as it, the claws rake into you for an 18 to hit. Yeah. And I roll two super minimum damage for that. Five slashing halved to two. And then you need to make a con save. Woo, fuck you. <laughs> You're lucky. 
<laughs> That's Dagio. like my fourth nat 20 already. Daggio, what do the claws do? Do you remember? I, re I remember what they do. So it fucks you over. <laughs> yeah, because next turn he would have died. Uh, Ubi, yeah, here's definitely. <laughs> next turn I would have died? Uh, uh, probably. If, if you would have failed that con save, probably. So, because I Guys, can't... take it out! I, I can't see it properly. I'll make it make us. A... Use some wind spell to blow away the stuff. No, but I'll try to chill it out. Creature you can see. <laughs> you can't see shit. This That's room's too fucking small. <laughs> I know, the room's too small. You can't see anything. Yeah, you could move. I, if, now, if you're next to it, I would say you'd be able to cast a spell like that because the enemies did the same. But that's also caused it, casting a fucking. That's a rain spell, I think. Well, if next that's the case, I will go. I'm going to go big. You're going to cast in large? No, I'm going to move next to it. As a oh, he's bonus do action. It. Spiritual weapons! As a bonus no. action, I'm going to healing word myself at level one. No, he's going to. Uh... The cause wounds thing. And I gain nine hit points. Yep, and I'm going to cast a level three inflict wounds. Nice. But be one, wow. that's my last spell slot. What? Jesus. Yeah, I only have, uh, like, one second level and two third levels. Oh, Do good does, roll. Um, 40... Ooh, 20... Yeah, does a 20 hit? Uh, 20 will hit. How about... 39 points of necrotic damage? As you reach out and touch the creature and you start to do the necrotic damage, you notice it doesn't do quite as much damage as you think it should. Does it still fucking hurt it? Yes, it still hurts, but does not do as much. That's max damage for one of those. For neither, but yeah. Well, I should have guiding bolted, oh, but no, I wouldn't have been able to see it. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nope, that is action bonus, and I'm stood next to something that can eat my charisma. Oh, you don't have high charisma either, do you? No, I start with an eight. Oh, that's where for Doran. No, I have many options here. Uh... <laughs> You're not sure. <laughs> it's, it's a now, dark fireballing center of myself is literally one option. Uh, shit. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to move up. Do I want to move up close to this fucker? Do you? I don't know. Do I? It's eating my charisma. Goddamn it! <laughs> but are you than me? I mean, what? I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, that's my that's my pretty score. What Honestly, you doing to yeah, yeah. Move up here. I mean, to be fair, that's his like... fireball score. Yeah. No, it's not a fire. Oh, well, it affects the DC. Yeah. Um. Now, would you say I could use Mind Spike if I'm this close to it? Uh, I would say you could see it to cast it. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Uh, Mind Spike. Wisdom save. Uh, 16 save. Take six psychic. I have two third double spell slots, man. Oh, okay. he, he's like, I got two fireballs, man. Well, actually, hold on. I can convert some sorcery points. Uh, and go do that and end my turn. Okay. Uh, Doric, your turn. You guys got this thing surrounded. Okay. Uh, Disadvantaged shot. Double disadvantaged. Twelve. <laughs> no bueno. Twenty-two. Bunch batter. Eleven piercing. Nice. The amount of crits we've had that we can't confirm is ridiculous. Uh huh. 
Oh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Doric. Another one? Yep. Yeah, eight. Nothing. Not going to do it. <clears throat> yeah, Eros rolled, or Nas, I should say, has rolled like five nat 20s. I've rolled use. so many between two <laughs> characters. Oh, my God. Uh, Eero, you're up. Here it goes again. Nope. Oh. Nope. No. Bonus action. Aren't you downstairs? Nope. I ran back no. up. Yeah, she oh, came yeah, back up yeah. a couple turns ago. Uh, is that it? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. All right, Doran. Live or die, man. Live or die. Recklessly swinging. Okay. Yeah, that's what Doran would do. Yeah, uh, I, about dying, he just he could I agree. He needed to. All right. Um. So. Wow. Damn. Okay. Damn, boy. Damn that damage. So it would be, it would go through the Divine Period because that's the first one that hit. Yeah. As the the first hit, you swing and your hammer gets like lodged in the floor and then you <laughs> whip it back out. <laughs> and for the second time against seemingly the same creature, how do you want to try to do this? <laughs> Smashing its head in again. <laughs> I said stay down! Well, this was like an Start upward winging. swing, so would you like hit it under the chin to try to take the head off? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's hit it under the chin to break the head off. <laughs> okay, so you kind of get the, your maul stuck and you swing it up like you're trying to play golf and you go and you hit it right in the chin and it just elongates the neck out and you hear some bones and stuff just crack and snap as the creature collapses to the ground. Fucking piece of shit. Now, the great thing is, for another minute, we don't know what the hell we were just fighting. <laughs> so, did you want to do anything else, Doran? Yeah. Shut up. Double tap. I can you use both those attacks. Attack. Yeah. <laughs> do it again. Yeah. I'm going to move this way. <laughs> okay. And just kidding. That's the end of combat. I will never again finish a creature off with just one hit. <laughs> First roll zombie land, man. Double tap. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. That's a fail. Okay, so yeah, I guess the smoke clears out a minute later. And you see what the hell we were fighting. Yeah, let me I'm gonna move them off the field. Cause Essentially, they exploded into nothingness. Yeah. Oh, but hey, Rob, do you know how to pronounce it? I've never tried. <laughs> uh, Mazerai? Rai? Could we get a spelling? Mereji. It's no. just did, you, did you look it up, Nas? Yeah, after that, I was like, all right, I got to find the picture. Oh, I found it. I, I, I it's pronounce like, it Mereji. So, um... Yeah, the thing I was saying with the claws, if you would have failed the DC on the claws um, mm -hmm. lurch, you would have been paralyzed. Fuck! Which no, then would have meant, he would have had, yeah, he would have had advantage on his next attack on you, because you would have been just standing there drooling on yourself. I would have had advantage because mm -hmm. I reckless every round. Oh, I know. And what really sucks is, I don't remember if Adagio has Revivify. I don't. Well, Oh yeah, movies have spell slots. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Ha I had it, but I I wanted to try and hurt it. Yeah, fucking piece of shit. Yeah, but was resistant to necrotic. So when you were gonna do that, I'm like, okay, he gonna take half damage. So I mean, I... So, yeah. Um, well, yeah. In character, anyone know what this is and why this is here? Uh, could I take a look at it? Sure. Anyone? You can make a. Uh, it's fiendish, so I would say like a religion check. Uh, I'll guide myself, but it's a plus <laughs> zero. Can I get a help action? Yeah. If it's religion, I would have a good. That's 23. I mean, 
Yeah, it is um, some type of uh, fiendish demon that are known to take over other people's bodies after they eat them. Well, you are what you eat. Yeah, that's, that is the embodiment of it. Very good call. <laughs> well, that being the case, this one is, seems to be a fucking asshole. <laughs> and uh, Rob, it has like the ability to like revive dead ghouls and gas, right, or something. Yes, yeah. that's their word. Yeah, that would be annoying as fuck. I don't know if, if it's a recharge or something, or just does it every turn. But it's a five-six recharge. I love yeah. Tomo okay. You guys quit metagaming my monsters. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I mean, half of us are DMs, so we don't know what we're using. <laughs> well, I know Vox has used it before, but yeah. no, I literally used it my last game. Yeah. yeah. I knew well... what it was, but I didn't know what it did because uh, Tomo Foes is my favorite source book so far. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. Just look it up post game, not yeah. mid game. <laughs> I have. I, don't see anything different. I try not to, honestly. I don't know why the H. Oh, when I made all those other guys pop up. So, can I search it? Because it still had what the other dude was wearing? Yes, you guys could make uh, investigation. Um, let me see. I have a question. So, Rob, uh, when Doran. Like, uh, smash its head into its chest. Do you like pop its head back out when it turned into? Yes, it? the head oh. head came back up. Okay, that's just fucking weird. Um... <laughs> As the skin, it turtled, was then it came back it. up. As the skin was melting off of it, its head came back out of uh in between being inside its chest. Okay, gross. Um, anyone below half? Uh, I think Doran is. Doran, just a little bit. Well, I've got 29 HP available to get you up to half. I yeah, can, which, oh, okay. I think, yeah, you're the only one who can use that, Doran, so. So, bring yourself up to half. Uh, yeah. I would have guided, but you don't really do Yeah, no need. Yeah, no need. I mean, Doric is investigating Poodles to see what he can do to repair him in his current repair. Um... Okay, so, uh, searching, uh, obviously the methods have poofed and there's nothing to search on those. Um, the, Ubi, you healed me three. Thank you. Um, but in the room, let me pull up what you find because you do find some cool stuff. Who wants good berries? Because that's all I've got for healing. <laughs> Is smoke. Uh, Dora can take one. Smoke and steam methods, because I I'll thought those would, those would fit in nice with the uh, theme. That's for each. Anyone else want a good berry? Yeah, Dora would definitely want to take one. Um, I don't have a handout for the demon, because he wasn't actually supposed to be there. That was just. Nice. Uh, and now your charisma is garbage, Dorn. Yeah, already was. Piece of shit. Um. So is like Dorn like starving when he talks now, or is he what? Oh, never mind. So I'm saying he's like stuttering every time he talks now or something. Dorn's basically an asshole now. A a bigger one. Yeah, I was supposed to say, you're your own, so... I mean, just um, wait a few levels, but I'll sort that out. <laughs> a few levels. <laughs> so, you find some gold. Couple... Your restoration's only a fifth level, isn't levels. it? I've only just got fourth level spells. What do you mean, only a fifth level? Fifth levels are expensive. Mm. Also, if... If Doran hadn't killed it, and it was ne it was going on next turn, and if it hit, would it have killed him with the charisma thing? Uh, his charisma was what a two? It was a three. I think. Three. Three. So it would have been down to a two. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's a. Uh, I let him roll it. I mean, it, it okay. says roll a d four each time, but I down thought it's more fun to let him roll his own. Oh, you you have been fine. Down the one, so it would have been three rounds. Yeah. Uh oh, ones. Uh, Doran, how many berries did you want? 
I took two. Uh, you know, we definitely grab the scrolls to look at them first, but would be open about what they are. I would be uh, looking at the two letters. Okay, first uh, one is an interesting one that she can read. Does anyone here use a bow? Oh, wait, is it really the crossbows? Two bolts. What? Flame arrows, spell. But say fuck, I use arrows, but I can't cast. Well, it's, no, somebody else cast them on your arrows. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a wizard would cast them on your arrows. Now they're fire arrows. And yep. But oh, this know. other one. This other one is funny because you could have used it during the fight, warding wind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Strong wind blasts around. You could have got rid of the stinking cloud and the uh, darkness. I shit. actually thought of a spell, and I have a spell that I could have used, but I didn't have it prepared for today, which would be Dust Devil. Oh, yeah. So that was the three scrolls Flame Arrows, Elemental Bane, and Warding Wind. Uh, there's two fire opals, 250 gold. Uh, Elizar had a nice dagger on him. And then there are two letters. Yeah, I'm going to be opening the letters. Okay, there's one that is sealed and one that is unsealed. Which one do you want to read? Uh, the first. sealed one first. Sealed first? Yeah. Okay. You can read it out loud for the class. Vinifer, the missing orb will be recovered, I swear it. I will personally see to it tomorrow and head towards Yartar to track these thieves down myself before the time is up on the orb. With your permission, I will then use it to devastate Yartar like those fools from the Earth Cult did to Westbridge. If the Earth lovers think a little quake is dangerous, they haven't seen what a firestorm will do to a town. Your servant in flames, Elizar Dryflagon. Okay, now read that with the t three charisma. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna find the orb and burn down Yartar. Awesome. Uh, okay. Speaking of orb, did Uvi find orb back at Westbridge? Uh, well, there was like pieces there wasn't like an actual orb. Oh, okay the orb is destroyed when it uh does it its effect so what it sounds like but, is that thieves stole an orb um and there's uh the other letter too do you want to read that one aloud for the yes. class yep okay god damn it i all right the unsealed some f oh, are some foolhardy thieves have stolen a devastation orb from me we managed to capture one of them and before i burned her to send her she confessed their plans. They think they can take it to Yartar and sell it. The fools. You will handle this. Go there and recover the orb. Make these thieves pay for stealing of us. Be quick about it. The orb only has 11 days. Whenever. Bitch, go find my orbs. These bitches took it. Awesome. Um, In English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Well, you said <laughs> one was bitch a lot. Sealed, right? Correct. The one, uh, yeah, you can see which one sealed or unsealed by the description. It looks like the unsealed was one was sent to him, and the sealed one he was about to send. Yes, yeah, so that means that he probably was in the middle of doing this. If it seems fresh, um, and we might have the eleven days left if we need to go look. Well, the hmm, thieves but... took someone. What thief do we know that went to Yartar? Oh, whoever it is, I very much doubt they know they've got a portable firestorm in their midst. Did Bishop go to Yartar? <clears throat> uh, yeah, if you remember the letter Bishop 
had left for you he did say he was headed back to yartar because that's where his mother was so presumably he's up in that area so we'll probably have to see him again um well we have three scrolls here we have an elemental bane a warding wind and a flame arrows so uh, we also have and i'm going to i'll just cast identify okay um eliza he just had a simple dagger plus one okay and a plus one dagger it seems well the question is do we want to keep going up or do we want to head to Yata to stop basically the city blowing up? Can I take your uh, Elizar's like robe that he had on? It kind of melted when his skin melted off. Oh. Yeah. You just don't want me to have the cult robes. Uh, Ira would hand the dagger to Adagio. Yeah, Daggio's the only one who's used a dagger in a Daggio. Uh, he did see B right back, but we'll remind him. Okay. Uh, yep, so uh, there is the uh, stairs going down. Um, you've cleared everything in this room unless you're doing something creepy with the bodies. And then the uh, ladder that goes up into the uh, peak of the uh, tower. Well, there's a little like, trap door at the top. Take its head. Well, we can certainly look what's up top. The uh, what the fuck he call it says. Yeah, because uh, you guys haven't been to the essentially the first floor and the attic. Well, shall we head up to the attic? Might as well. Mm. Okay, you go first then. Uh, who's going first? Dorn. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Everybody jumped on it once. Um, so you're just gonna... That's where the other... The map will be just to the north as you guys go up. Um, let me get the description. Uh, this chamber is under the tower's angled upper roof. Holes in the ceiling lead to the open air. A short ladder to the west leads through up one such opening. The room smells strongly of the droppings that cover the floor. Was anyone else going up? Real well, quick, there's anything like really in the room except for droppings. Um. Well, was anyone else up there? No. Yeah. Here, uh, what of them and Poodles and Dark. If the Daggio didn't go next. Yeah, Daggio's AFK at the moment, so I'm just going to leave him uh, downstairs. Um, yeah, um, make an investigation if you want, Doran. Yes, I would like to look for shit. Look through shit. Oh, this is that's perfect. As you're digging through shit um, from the top of the peak of the attic, four giant bats swoop down to attack you as you have entered their room. Motherfucker. Fucking crits. So you got a, a one on your investigation and a twenty on your initiative. I was, I was almost. Quick, I was, I was quick gonna, to react. Yeah, I was gonna make you like lose your first turn with the nat one, but nat twenty, man. No. Um, and they they're currently still twenty feet in the air, so they're first. If you're going first, they're out of melee range. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna hold my action till they get within range. Okay, uh, you just uh, you're holding. actually, uh, bonus action rage and hold my action. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, Ubi. I will hold a primal savagery for when something comes into range. Primal bitch slap. Good thing these guys have ranged attacks. Sonic scream. They go, Rah! you all have to make con saves or you're deaf. Do you stop um, with the goddamn con saves? I know. <laughs> no, they don't have a sonic screen. Oh. Oh, and you rolled it? Really, Doran? That's cute. Um, you got even know. I don't know what the fuck these things are. So that's the that's the one literally above you, Ubi. So it's going to swoop down and try to bite you, Ubi. So you guys can get your attacks as it does as well. But it's going to miss. 16? Um, yep, 16 will hit the bat. Eight Since damage. this is my first attack, can I choose to engage recklessly? Uh, sure. Okay. I'm back. Why are we initiative again? What the um, <laughs> they went up this ladder to your left into the attic area, and while Doran was sifting through animal droppings, four giant bats swooped down. Oh, um, um, the first hit will kill it. Oh, okay. Um, but that's your one reaction, so you mm -hmm. do not have your other attack. But I one down. My action. Right, but it takes your reaction to use it. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Uh. Yeah, I left you downstairs, Adagio, in case you didn't want to immediately follow him up and then put you in an initiative, and it's just been the, literally the first round. Um, now, you is that two different shots? Because yep. they're still up in the air. Okay, which one are you firing at? Uh, that one. Okay, uh, roll damage. 10, still flapping. 10, looking like shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bonus action. Um, I don't think Foodles can get no. up there. Yeah, no, Foodles. Yeah, Foodles is definitely out of range. Foodles will hold his action to strike if it enters our area. I don't think you can hold a bonus action though. Yeah. Hero, you are up. Magic missile. Thought about it, don't have it. No, I'm just going to fire bullet. Okay. Uh, which one? That one? Okay, that'll hit. Nice damage. Okay, anything else? Okay, now the bats swoop in. Get this one out of the way. This one's going to swoop down to Ubi. Trying to take a bite out of you. 19 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Six piercing as the bat takes a bite out of you. See, do I need to make a con save to become a Batman? I mean, you should, because you're failing them all anyway. Um... <laughs> I will, because I am <laughs> failing them all. <laughs> God damn it, now you're Batman. Yo, you, you feel your canines extend a little bit. Where is Throw she? You could grow some hair on your ears. Swear to me! Um, this one's going to try to swoop down on Doric and hits with a nat 20 for 8 piercing. On Doric? Yes. And the other one's going to swoop down on hero for a seven to hit That's been uh, Dajio, you hear them you hear a bunch of flapping and then firing off 
spells stuff from the uh, attic. I will do my most valued spell. Alarm. Fireball. Alarm. <laughs> it took 11 minutes. No, I'm kidding. I go up. <laughs> okay, so it's 5, 10, so it's about 15 feet of movement to get oh, up there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, it's a lot crawling in here than I thought. Uh... You guys are in a it's not a very wide tower here you guys are in. I've noticed. Uh, Chaos Bolt. The one directly to my right is one. Okay. Oh, if that could bounce and just hit all of them, that'd be fun. I could dream. I, mean, I know, we've had it bounce once. No, I won't. Does it bounce? No. Um, still has a lot damage of damage. damage. How do you yeah. know if it bounces? If the Two D8s roll the same number. Oh. Yeah. And oh, that, that and then whatever the numbers are also tell you what what kind of uh damage it does. What damage mm -hmm. type. So um, I currently have like fire and something. Yeah. Um either one, it's you know as well as I do, bats don't have resistance. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Well actually did, was one of them thunder? That could be fun. Yeah, one of them is thunder. Yeah, they can't use echolocation while it's deafened. That'd be fun. I'm not sure it works that way, but that would be fun. Yeah, it's in my <laughs> uh, Doran, you're up. All right. Uh, recklessly attacking the one that's the hero. Give me a second. Uh, you, you're reckless with like a three charisma. You're just... Man. Yeah, you just smash that one right in the head as it drops... And then going to the one next to Uvi. Oh, barely hits, but yeah, just smash that one right in the face. Fucking shit in this tower! Yeah, literally, there's like guano all over the floor. Um, and roll a D8 for me. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? I don't know, I just thought of something that could be bad for Doran, but uh, never mind me. Toby! Help my will! Well, hey, where the hell is the? So, so, how far up would you say we are right now? Quite a bit. So, if you, if that uh, great was to, you know, break. Don't. <laughs> what? How many D's, tens, or D8s would that be? <laughs> <laughs> D6 every 10 feet. Yep. I think the highest is 10 or 20. But that's like a thousand feet in the air. It'll be 20 D6. No, yeah, there's a max for it. Yeah. it's. I think it's 20 D6 is the max. Yep. As... layers that map. Yep. As you step onto the grate and it starts to creak and crack and it falls out from underneath you. No. As you go plummeting, not quite as Dex far as you check. think. Um, you could do a deck save to see if you land on your feet, but you're still taking the damage. Oh, you said deck save? Correct. Like okay. acrobatics, I would think. I'd rather do the deck save. <laughs> it should be the same. Because I can see it. Oh, yes, yeah, so you have advantage. No. Wow. So, yeah, you fall prone and take 13 damage as you hit the ground and land on the gooey what body. What kind of damage? 
it is fall damage. You do not take half damage from floor. Bludgeoning damage, okay. <laughs> Barbarians is one weakness, the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the floor in the mind. Yep, so you, you take the full 13 as you whack. Um, Ubi, your turn, as you saw Doran break through the floor and fall. Uh, yeah, I'll just spend 20 feet to go around. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect it to fall. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ten's gonna miss. <laughs> oh, that's me. Doric. Uh, twelve. Uh, twelve will miss. Just barely. No, twelve. Yeah, so you quickly fire off two shots that go wide. Seemingly able 16? to hear your movements um but does not expect a force blast to come out from a giant metal spider as mr foodles blasts some kind of force damage out of him and kills the bat good job mr foodles but i can't hit shit hey at least your um your big spell did kind of well, if it would have missed and done zero, so at least I'm you didn't get half. Get up and move back up. Is there anything else in this room? Bat um, shit. there. <laughs> bat shit. There is a um, the ladder right next to you, Eero, that does go up further. I will go up further. I shall follow. Um, Same. Well, uh. Now, as Eero gets up there, she tells the rest of you to stay down. There's not really room. Um, there's a the ladder leads to about a five feet up to a circular opening and about three feet wide. So it's just big enough for like one person. A uh, small platform has been built on the outside of this. Um, so essentially, you're on the top and outside of the tower. Okay. Can I see uh, anything or is it still like smoggy? Yeah, it's still smoggy, but you can tell it's, I mean, it's only been, you know, an hour, so it hasn't really had time to start clearing because it's been there for weeks and weeks. Um, uh, you do see some basic supplies for repairing the roof up there, like a hammer, nail, some plywood. Uh, there's like 200 feet of rope and a climbing kit. Uh, I'll take the climbing kit. Sure. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you'll have to check the PHB for all the things it uh <laughs> contains. Yeah, Dorn has a burr. Because I'm sure it's got pittens and all that other nonsense. Well, I think we should head to your car. We never saw a way down, did we? No, we just need to go back out the way we came in. Uh, what he's referring to, you guys did see an opening into technically the first floor where you saw some type of uh, firelight. Oh, okay. So there were some, uh, there was an opening in the floor like the one you just found um, <laughs> that led to uh, um, the first floor, but you guys didn't go in there. I think. So um, we delve deeper, or we so, go to the Yartar. So I'll put you guys on the, this is the second floor map. You guys came in through this door. And mm -hmm. so there are, like, what looks like uh, fire down there and um, shadows moving in the flames and stuff. But um, you guys have not gone down there. Well, I'd probably I sit, we... head to Yartar to try and stop an explosion. If your turn yeah. doesn't need to do it, will affect the shadow fell as well. Um, uh, uh, quick estimate, how long is the travel to your turn from here? How many days? Roughly. The yeah, our tar is oh, very there. Good. Pretty far. 
pretty far. I may be a river. Maybe. Rate line is 200 much on the. I think we. Can we make it? I'm not sure. I mean, we do have do you know? horses and a carriage. Wouldn't it be quicker to go via road? Yeah, so. Um, if it's a straight line as the bird flies, you guys go about 24 miles a, in a day. That would be about eight or nine days. If you guys, you know, kind of head in, like the river, it'll extend it a little bit, but give, you know, kind of a safer, smoother travel. Just take the cart. Um, are you guys... Do anything else here, you guys X in the tower. I don't think I know they're encountering here. Yeah. Or at least we're, I can. We're all pretty tapped. Yeah. Yeah, I think we well, all need you to guys go to the Yata. Attempt a short rest too, if you'd like. Uh, I think we're all going to head back to the uh, cart. Or I will press the button on the immovable rod okay. and reclaim that. Max map. Um, hold still. I'm gonna, there were two maps for the tower. I'm going to put you guys in the other one that you guys that I didn't use because it was a side view map. Or is it over here on the right side? Oh, the hell is this? Yeah, that's like the side view of the tower. So that would be the floor you guys came in. That was the second floor where the dead rolls were. How would this work? I want to see this is yeah. a lot more room than the map before, but. Well, I, I, room going up and down, yes, but yeah, and across because it's showing like 60 feet instead of like 5 by 20. And then that would be the attic where they are. But yeah, because like the the bat were up, had the bats in this up on map too, and Elizar was here. But I like the overhead map better. Yeah. This would have been weird for trying to do a a fight. Yeah, because you technically would have to be here all the time unless you're on the steps. Yeah. <laughs> going up the steps to me or you know, um, yeah and then the uh below that's the uh first floor where you guys didn't go so i blocked that so you guys couldn't run from there so, whoop. oh whoop oh jesus that was you doing a stretch um, bring you guys back to the cart. Oop. Got it there. Okay. Um, you guys doing anything else at this camp? Or are you guys going to try to start booking? Probably going to try and yeah, head off to Yata unless anyone's got any objections. Okay. Um, and remember, it's, it's going to be nine or ten days travel there. If you guys think of things you want to do along the way, um, let me know. Um, I'll switch us to the... You guys can tr kind of plan your route on how you want to do it. I'm going to take a five-minute uh, break as well. So right. I'll give you guys a chance just... to figure out what route you want to take what you want to do on the way and bathroom if you need it. Yeah, uh, guys, I just thought of something. If it's about a nine to 10 day travel to Yartar, that leaves us with one or two days to find the orb. There might be enough time. Yeah. Well, we know but... someone that's there, so we can go and talk to Bishop and see if he figured out anything. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, also considering if the letter was sent on the same day it was made, just exactly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So I'm just assuming we have less time than we think we have. I mean, yeah, we might get there when it happens, but I think we should probably just take. Um, go to the north, east, northwest. Northwest, like the main road. Northwest to here. Oh, yeah. that. This trail thing. Lark path. And then Lark path. up here. Oh. Back to Westbridge. Yeah, the Westbridge, and then north. Try bar. Yeah. It's probably the way that we'll have to take with the uh, trails. I mean, worst case scenario, we, we arrive when the orb does shit, and we could maybe help out. Worst maybe. case scenario. That's the worst case scenario, I'm thinking. Yeah. But hopefully he didn't really send out too many people this way, and we don't have to fight a fuck ton of people. I mean, the only issue is if they literally just took the river. He did only just he did just say he would personally go to it. So I'm yeah. thinking maybe. Yeah, but but uh, thieves got the orb, so. Yeah, it's but I don't think thieves are gonna bomb their own. Well, in case they don't know what the fuck they're doing, which in case they're yeah, I don't like, think they know what it is. They're gonna sell it. Uh, I'm gonna be right back though, because I'm gonna grab somebody. All right. I mean, I swear. Going, I can obviously prepare sending and ask for people in Tribal and Yata to look out for it. Look out for a Thieves Guild and a mysterious fucking orb. Well, not even the Thieves Guild, just Thieves in general. Also, uh, anyone know how big Yata is? It's like a small village, like Red Larch, or is it a big ass city? It is considered a city. City, okay. Oh. Slightly, slight problem, slight problem. So it's it's definitely bigger than Red Large. Okay. It is technically on this map. It is the biggest city because it's the only black dot. Yes, I've noticed. That's that's what I was worried about. Okay. Uh, well, so yeah, that's gonna complicate things. Yeah, I, I, can, so I can send sending spells just to people in Tribal and maybe Yata, and ask them to look for an orb of a certain size. That's Going to, that is going to explode within eleven days in Yata. You guys, Rod, give me a what, Yep, and yeah, depending on what route you guys oh, take. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, now I suggested we uh kind of take this path here, all the uh -huh. Storm Bridge. I uh, remember. And then Head to Westbridge and then follow this main road, Tribor. Uh, 330 miles divided by 20. That would take you 13, 14 days. Okay, we're not going to make it. Uh. What if we, like, full on book it? Uh, you'd be ri risking exhaustion every day. So you'd be rolling. A yeah, and that's not kind of for of concepts. random encounters. Yep. Well, random encounters, too, you got to think are only going to be two minutes. Yeah. Even though what it takes, you know, go, two hours in game. What if we go like straight up? Like uh, going, We're going next through to the hills river. and through. No, what if we travel across the river? I mean, it could work. I mean, it'd be faster if you had a boat, but still. Yeah, I can bury me a boat. It's still, this is still through hills. Yeah. Well, the first part would be once you yeah, get yeah. out of it. Yeah. Once we get out, it's fine. And then we're going back into hills again. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Only this time we don't know what's here because we've never been here. Oh fuck! I, yeah, we're all the way down here. Yeah. This is literally a Westbridge situation all over again. We don't have enough time, and we're too far away. You have enough I mean, time. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, we could find a boat, maybe. Hold on, I don't think this is faster than walking. Is it? 
map is uh, eleven days at twenty four miles a day is two hundred sixty four miles. Um, and you technically still have half of this day because it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and what I'm thinking is we have less time than we actually have because assuming the leather isn't sent the same day it was ma made, you know. I know what you mean. <laughs> so, yeah, logically thinking, guys, I don't think we're going to make it. Looks like we're bombing Yartar. What do you mean we're not bombing Yartar? We just can't prevent the bombing of Yartar. They got best bet sending someone in Tribor Yartar. Hopefully they do better than Westbridge. Yeah, just to say, would I know anyone in Yata? Bishop. Uh, yeah, honestly, sorry. Bishop's our best bet. Yeah, and he's a thief too. Yeah, honestly, so he's Meta quite literally our best bet. <laughs> Meta wise, yeah, Caden's your best bet. <laughs> yeah, so I could send messages to both Bishop and people in Tribor to try and look out for an orb the same size we've kind of dealt with in Westbridge. That's got I mean, it was shattered in Westbridge, wasn't it? What about Westbridge? The orb in Westbridge was it like shattered or something. You said right. Yeah, it went into the ground and then kind of exploded and then caused like a what they described as an earthquake that lasted uh, an entire day. Yeah, and that's Westbridge is like what a small village-ish. Yeah, because a freaking city, mm -hmm. so it's gonna cause a lot more destruction. And it is, from what you read, it is a fire orb. So it'd be oh, different. wonderful. Hopefully Yatar isn't completely made out of wood. Am I right? Yeah, because uh, uh, the name in there, you guys have heard before, Vanifer. Yeah, we know of her, of uh, one of the uh, oracles, princes, whatever. Prophet. 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 Prophets. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, she and, is the elemental prophet of fire. And which I think is also a tiefling. Uh, from what you've heard, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot who I've heard that from. It was uh, from a fire genasi. I forgot her name. Yeah, Miss uh, Shinju. That, 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 yeah, her. Hey, GM, don't ask question. Mm hmm. What, if, what if I cast Water Walk? Uh, how many people can you cast it on? Uh, up to ten willing creatures. So that would be your party and the horses. Um, wouldn't no, it count for the wagon? It wouldn't, yeah. Technically, so. technically, you could do the horses and the wagon, and we could sit in the wagon. You wouldn't have to do it on us. Yeah, but the wagon isn't a creature. And it's not a boat. It's a wagon. Um, it's going to sink. But and I think water walk only lasts. Well, it, it's ritual, so you, you just you just have to recast it every hour. Yeah. Because I think water walk only lasts lasts what one hour. Correct. And even if we travel by river, it's we're still be shy of like a few hours before the exposed expo supposed exposure explosion. My yeah, bad. but depending on how long the explosion lasts. Again, I'm I'm assuming we have less time than we actually have. Yeah, see, that would get you there with, because uh, if you left now, you still have a half a day. So you'd have, uh, if you could travel a little faster doing it that way, if you went directly across the river, like Ubi's suggesting, it would give you basically one day to find it and do something about it. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my vote is be you sending on Bishop to look out for anyone trying to sell an orb, specifically. Yeah, definitely, definitely contact Bishop. Yeah, to tell him to look out for anyone trying to sell an orb. Literally, the only description we have of this orb is just the orb, capital O. So, oh, devastation O orb. Do we know what it? No, we probably don't. We don't. Well, kind of. It fucked up Westbridge. We know what it. Yeah, does. they we they exactly they describe. Yeah, you don't know exactly what it is. They described it because they saw it before it was activated as uh, like the size of a, a big basketball. Mm -hmm. And it, the one, it looked brown like a big ball of dirt. 
I'm assuming this one is fire. Yeah, that's a wise assumption, considering it's the, the uh, leader of the fire cult said it was stolen from them. Actually, it's just an orb of sunshine, sunshine and rainbows. Exactly. It makes all the crops grow better and keeps the pests away. Yeah. So we're not going to make it in time, basically. I hope that the, uh, the thief that stole its name is Icarus. Why is that? Because he flew too high to the sun. Oh. Wow, children. Wow. Careful, Icarus. Have yeah, we but, been uh, to Tribor? No, no, we haven't. Never. The highest we've been was... It's Whisbridge. It's Whisbridge. That's the highest you've been. Up yeah, north. that's the far as north as you've been. It, during the campaign. Yeah. Like, Uvi's from Tribor. Oh, okay. And Adagio is from further north. <laughs> Way further north. Ooh. I just noticed Coneyberry. What the fuck is Coneyberry? Um, if you approach there, you will hit a proxy wall that says you have gone too far. Turn around. Oh, Skyrim. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've actually hit all the corners of Skyrim, which is fucking hilarious. So, um, yeah, if we could do the water wall thing, get there with like a day, quote-unquote, a day. And Maybe I can a few still, hours. Yeah, and I can still send, do sendings. Right. Yep, you would be able to do sendings uh, plenty on the way. And I would... Um, and you guys would have a, other time to do other things. Um, now, if you do do it across the water, you're not going to be able to take the wagon, so you'd have to abandon the wagon. Yeah, also, what I'm thinking is, it might take longer to search for the ore because Yatara is a city. And it's much more densely populated, I'm assuming. Well, that's why I'm thinking if I can contact people in Yata and Tribal, they can coordinate and look for it while we're on our way. I mean, that's really our best bet and probably our only plan unless anyone has objections. No, that's perfect. Going once, twice. All right, sticking with that plan. We're going to travel via water walk down the river or up the river okay. on the way Ubi's gonna do sending to yep, warn so slash coordinate people about the every every um, hour you're gonna take an extra 10 minutes to ritually cast water walk pretty much well i can still i mean it's normal yeah. walk for an hour take a 10 minute break yeah We'll be not getting a break but and i mean to is. be fair when we're on land like say uh yeah, we would need to water walk the, all the way there just when we're in the hills section. Yeah. Right. Because you guys straight this way, water walk up the river. Unfortunately, we're at, we're at a financial loss for leaving behind the wagon. So we could do it in like 218, 220. Yeah, just about a day's worth of getting right. there before. Two. Boom, boom. 220 would get you there at like nine days. Yeah. That's a lot shorter than like when I measured it. Weird. Whatever. Yeah, because you're doing it to, to center. I'm just doing it freehand in it. Yeah, hold all even before you do the first click. All right, I'm going to. Okay. I know it it's, makes it hard to follow the river with all that shit on top of it. <laughs> So for traveling, is this what we're doing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you, you messed it up, Adagio. Look, I tried, okay? Whenever I did the old... Um, I know, but you're you're gonna go straight this way. In that oh, case, yeah. Rob, you're gonna get a bunch of messages. Anyway, that's our plan. We just this gotta... time on sending episode. Yeah. <laughs> Behind <laughs> BS. <laughs> Where Rob oh, has a bunch nine of... Nine days of sending. Yeah. Nine days of sending from two characters. Plus rolling a bunch of random encounters. And walking on water because we're Jesus. Jesus Christ, you bunch of assholes. 
Just imagine arriving on Yatara with just a few, just a bunch of people walking on water. Like, walking onto the dock. Like, what the fuck? You gotta think about how weird that would look, seeing our party just walking up the side of the riverbank from the river. Fish look up, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> uh, why are the footsteps nipping at way? your shoes? Also, I'm kind of assuming that the river here isn't like a roaring like river that's going like we're fighting upstream or something. Well, oh, you're no. walking on it, so it's yeah. Basically, it's like walking on you know rough ground, really. Yeah. All right. I so, say so I'm not gonna send you four messages a day for because I... that, yeah, I'm just gonna get ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I will. So I'm going to spend the four slots and just have them off. Okay, so... Yeah, so... The first half a day is going to get you guys about that far from Scarlet Moon Hall. Because it was already halfway through the day. So you guys have your first um, camp. Uh, I'll take a quick look. I'm looking up. Sorry, Rob. Right Sorry, I've got to roll a bunch of. Uh... <laughs> that should be all of them. <laughs> I mean, you do know when we get up to the top, we can literally just book it straight across. We don't need to go along the river at the top. What do you mean? Are you gonna make him do it over again? Yeah. So, so just drop your your line. You can just go straight. Oh, when he gets like here. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter. We estimated like nine, ten days already. So, fuck it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, we're gonna kind of measure it as we go, just so we know roughly how many days before this. Firebomb has a potential to blow. Boom, boom. Or at least I have to. Um, but we're gonna we're not gonna do like four watches a night kind of thing, because that's ain't nobody got time for that. Unless you guys want to, and I can roll encounters eight times a day. No, I'm good. <laughs> Take us six sessions to get up there. <laughs> um. Nice. As you guys complete your first long rest, um, Doran. Doran. Uh, your charisma's restored. Still an asshole, though. That's true. Yeah, it comes back on a short or long rest. You don't need a restoration or anything. Okay, so second day, or I should say really this is the first day. So about half day's travel, you guys are going to hit the river. Um, you guys going to leave the cart there, I'm guessing? Yeah. So I'll, say I'll put a little marker on the map because it's pretty much where the, the trail is. So. Um, are you guys doing anything while traveling? You guys want to, other than sendings, if you guys want to do any RPing, talk to each other, maybe get information from Adagio? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, could try. <laughs> to be fair, my guy's going to be concentrating on water walking for pretty much nine days straight and mentally well, sending still... messages. Yeah, my dude's going to be sending messages and... I don't know. Let's I have that. nine hours and... What is it, 50 gold per something, too? For training? Per level, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you'd be able to do that during your long rests. 
Just, just like that, that. Dajo gets away without revealing information. <laughs> Second, third, and fourth level spells. Fourth level? Can you cast Elemental fourth? Bane is fourth level, I believe. If you can't cast fourth, you can't learn it. Okay, so then I won't worry about that one yet. Yeah, you can hold on to the scroll. You could cast it using a DC to succeed on it, or you can hold it till you can cast it and then scribe it into your book. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I could work on the, what's it, the wyvern poison? Yeah, the stinger on the poison, can I make it into a, like a small injector? Um, the... Please survival check because you're trying to make like a homemade like dagger, so to speak. Twenty. Um. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'm responding to Doran's. Uh, yeah, that, that's why I'm, I'm not doing that to you this session. I'm I'm kind of just taking the assumption that with like four. Miss, like uses of sending, I can kind of increase the odds of finding it and s like slightly decreasing the odds of it exploding in the Atar. Looking for what? You were trying to do what, Bob? No, I'm just saying, like, with the, the full up uses of sending that I'm using, it's, it's kind of like, hopefully it's increasing our odds of not having it explode in the center of Yata and somebody possibly finding it. That's what, um, that's, that's what I'm kind of counting it as. Well, what are you sending to who? Well, I'd be sending, like, one or two a day to Bishop until you tells me if he's in Yatar or not. Um, well, uh, well, let's, what do you send on the first one? Oh, you actually want me to send the messages? It's yeah, we can just RP it real quick. You've got like four a day, so. So how many days did it take to get us there? Uh, nine? Yeah, we've got nine. Correct. Okay, so that's uh, eight. Yeah, so like the first one would be Bishop uh, are you in Yata? Possible explosion in a few days. Please respond. Oh. Yeah, I'm in Yartar. I've uh, been here for a week or two. What do you mean by explosion? Ele elemental bomb within 9 to 11 days will detonate in the Yata. Keep eye out. Will do. Uh, give me more information if you have it about this orb and where I can maybe find it. Uh, obviously, I don't know the exact dimensions of it, but... Uh, basketball sized probably looks like a fiery orb will probably be accompanied by thieves gotcha thieves large fiery ball I'll keep an eye out I've got contacts uh, so I've got like one more for the day and I'll be Asking from a tribe, or and every day after that, I'll be trying to confirm with Bishop and whoever I've been in contact with to have you found it? Any updates? Who are you sending a message to at Tribe? Or? Sorry. 
the last one I'm sending the dub. Hopefully. I probably will Javel. Okay. Um. This is, uh, we'll keep an eye out. We don't want the same thing to happen here that happened to Westbridge. We don't really have spare people to send to Yartar. They're larger than us. Uh, your brother did go south to Westbridge to help with the crew from here already. Fair enough. Uh, then, yeah, I said mostly it'll just be trying to work with Bishop to make sure we f find the devastation orb of fire. Okay. Um, so you guys are on, finishing your second day of travel. Um, I was just doing all the conversations at once, even if they took multiple days, because it's just easier. Yeah, I should have thought of that instead of sending you like six different fucking messages. <laughs> oh no, that works. I, re I just responded to them in order, so... Okay. Yes, um, this is kind of what happened previously on the sending episode. <laughs> yeah, I sent you a couple and then uh, to the Shadow File and then one to Neri. Okay. Response from like weeks to fucking go. So, uh, as you guys get towards the long, uh, stone bridge, you can see it in the distance, um, so you know you'll be passing it on the morrow. Are you guys planning on going under it or over it? Because remember, it is extremely high. So if you're following the river, you can essentially just go under it. I believe we're going under it. Yeah, probably st stay under it and then just go across the plains and partial rivers when needed. Okay. Um, I would have summoned back Danfa and hey, given him... Back. Okay. Like yep. Meal. <laughs> Gold. Uh, Daji, are you summoning back? Uh, I forget what uh, you name. Your name, your chicken. Gobbles. Whatever. Uh, Gobble. I'm thinking of another familiar. A uh, Mr. Chicken was hers. It was funny I might, though. I, I might I might do an owl, maybe. Okay, you got time to look at him and decide. Yeah. I'm not going to summon anytime soon, though. So. Uh, okay. And then with Donfa's assistance and hopefully guidance from Ubi, then I would like to attempt to get one of my spells. Uh, if you, as long as you're doing it while we're on land and not on water, then yes, I could guide you. Yeah, this would Wonder be like Gary. Isn't concentration, really, is it? It's a ritual that lasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it is concentration. No, it's just That'd be funny if it was. But yeah, you could. All right, fair enough. You can do it while we're water walking. But yeah, you could do it because uh, you can't really copy the spell while you're walking. It'd be during like break times when you guys are taking rest or camping. Okay. But I'm not stressing the time because you guys got plenty of it. Yeah, so I just need the first one will be second level. Warding wind, so I just need Arcana check, advantage guidance. Isn't guidance just a D four like plus? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. And then the next day, I would do the same thing for third level. Hero's good. Yeah, that's uh, good enough. <laughs> so you got I don't, to, uh, I don't like adding up. scrolls. I'm scared I'm going to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's part of the risk, but I mean, you got a plus seven, so that helps. Yeah, definitely. And you have it, it's not like you're copying a ninth level scroll, because that would be scary. Oh, yeah. Imagine, like, oh, you found a wish scroll. Oh, I'm going to copy out of my spell book. <laughs> it's natural one. Fuck! Yep. Bye. <laughs> I wish you I wish. wouldn't have done that. Yep, you <laughs> wish you had that scroll. Okay, so that is flame arrows and warning. Oh, uh, Daggio. What up? 
uh, when you were uh, when they were still in the tower and you took a break, uh, Hero gave you a dagger plus one. Sweet. Now I could hit things slightly better with yep. the dagger. And, well, and it's magical, so that helps. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, because um, uh, Elizar had a plus one dagger on him, so she gave it to you. Let's test it out. I stay up Doran. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Doran, you take five piercing damage. Oh. All right. Well, as start the third day. Uh, can you let us know when we are theoretically within a week of Yata? Um, sure. Um, these are coming forever. Oh, make sure you guys did your long rest stuff and brought everything back up. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, leaving so my I'm level right threes now. and fours at zero because I would be casting them. Um, yeah, I was just, I was looking at tokens and I saw they didn't have full hit points. I want you guys to be gypped. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't mess with brutals unless it is an actual token that I can do, and uh, should be. No, it's an NPC uh, oh, sheet, oh, okay. so I can't mess with that. Gotcha. Oh, um. So, uh, towards the middle of the second day, um, you getting close to where the long uh, bridge is, and you notice there's a couple figures on the west bank, and then another guy like standing on the rock in the a rock in the middle of the river while you guys are walking on water, <laughs> strolling by. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What's up, uh, Tiger Smooth? <laughs> So you guys, you, they haven't seen you guys yet because you guys are still, you know, a good couple hundred yards away. Do they look panicked? Nope. Uh, looks like they're uh, making a perception check. <laughs> well, it's not as if we're being stealthy, is it? No, we're just Jesus walking up a river. Just imagine just some random fisherman. It's like out having a normal day in the river. He says he's us walking up. Well, you guys did pass a couple boats and, you know, travelers moving goods up and down the river are just kind of scared at you weird. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, you just walk by the boat. Hey, guys. High five. Hi. High five. Cool. <laughs> Oh, you guys um, are using boats that I saw last week? Yeah. So 20 minutes ago. Um, do you want to do a perception check to see what they're doing? Sure. Um, looks like uh, the one standing out on a rock is just chilling. A couple of the other ones look like they're fishing, but... They look like they're uh, wearing similar garb to uh, what you've seen before. As in water uh, cult? As in similar to water cult people you have previously fought along the same river, but further south. Okay, then. I say we just blow past them. Um, so blow past them or blow up past looks, them? Looks like the majority of them are on the west bank. Uh, I would like to put a wall of water around them. <laughs> are you casting a spell? Yes. Okay. Let me switch map. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. Um, you could walk on water. You could fix uh, foodles now. (laughs) 
60 foot range? Yeah, whenever we get in range. Nice uh, <laughs> picture. I thought it looked cool. I was like, that, that, that looks like a wall of water. Yeah. Um, so, what are you guys doing as you see them milling about and a couple are fishing? I mean, I, One guy's just kind of standing there. We probably ignore them until they react. Hmm. Oh, then you guys need to move. <laughs> I'll move. I have distance spell too, so they can't run. <laughs> distance spell fireball. Try as they might, they cannot see run. Uh, Hold hey, up, my mouse. Hey, so, boss, uh, there's some guys walking on our water. Your water. Yeah. yeah so this whenever is... I got in the range, I would have put the water pole right there. You need to move your guy and then show me. Yeah, I can't move. I have it already measured, damn it. Well, you could press shift to lock it or something. Shift to lock it. Well, that, I gotta see how close you get before you attempt to cast it. Because where are you trying to do it? Way up top? I'll measure backwards for you because now you're like. Yeah, so it would have been like this area. Um, so what are you guys doing on our water? Yeah, strolling. Can you see we're fishing here? It's just you get back on the land where you belong. Mm, well, here. I can perform you so you can just... And I wall of water around the dude. What the fuck? See, now you can see him. So what does this thing do? Uh, 30. I'm actually going to, because why not, I'm going to make it a wall around him. Oh, that guy's fucked. Uh. <laughs> so 10 feet, high, or you can make a ring wall up to 20 feet diameter. So you're going to do like a 10 foot diameter, 20 feet high and one foot thick. Wall yep. space is difficult terrain, any ranged weapon attack. Disadvantage, fires have spells that deal cold damage that pass through, cause that area of the wall to freeze solid. Mm -hmm. My section is destroy the walls, water doesn't fill it. Okay, so you could destroy sections of it with uh, uh, ice. That's cold funny. damage. Yeah. I okay. guess we're rolling initiative, question mark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you right. guys cast a spell there. Not too likey. I was just showing them that I have water powers too. Don't worry about it. They needed. To... We needed to assert dominance on the water. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, water cultists. I'm better than you. Not the fact that we are walking on water. We still need to assert <laughs> more dominance. Yeah. <laughs> we need to show them who's boss. And... Who's boss? I could put their boss on the field if you want. Do it. Wait, don't do it. Yeah. We'll end too pretty. <laughs> I don't think you guys are ready for a, a profit. Yeah. Actually, you gotta take that back. Not with this many reinforcements, no. I want uh, to be able to fly first before our first boss fight, or first profit boss fight. Everybody in there? When do you get a fly? 14. 14? <laughs> That's like yeah, the end so of the campaign. Be a while. Yeah. <laughs> I believe we're missing a Doran. I'm sorry, my mouse is being fucking weird. Oh, Give me a let second. a brother know. I can roll for you. I did. I said my mouse was acting weird. Alright. Uh, just put new batteries in it. I can roll. I rolled. You rolled decent. Okay. Wait, uh, uh you wouldn't no oh, yeah, I would. What? 
They rolled no, with advantage. Just, yeah. I don't know if... Did you click my sheet or... Yeah, you did. Okay. That's fine. No, I don't know how to roll for a token. Go. Um, Uvi, you're up first. Um, you can draw it on there. I don't know how to do the drawing thing at the moment. There you go. Cool. Lightning bolt? Uh, no, so bonus action, spiritual trident. <laughs> nice. Like I said, asserting dom dominance. Well, looks like it. <laughs> it stabs the ground. You, you assert hit a dominance fish. on the water, you stab the water. Yep. You almost stab a fish. And bonus. Oh, that, that was the bonus. And action. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yep. I'm not finished yet. Uh, action sorry, on excited. this one. Damn. Damn. Yeah, 16 will hit. Uh, for 18 points of radiant. Nice. Yeah, you guys have fought these guys before. Yep, and I'll keep moving up. And that one is lit for advantage, right? Correct. Oh, I forgot my weird arms. Yep, the weird arms. Five. 30. She's going to attempt to throw a javelin with disadvantage at Uvi. Disadvantage against your high AC, this will go well. Oh, yeah. That's a 6 to hit. Uh, I think that misses, unfortunately. Okay, but you expend shield. Do uh, during your. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Gonna run up here. Just <laughs> water walk <laughs> through our fly map. It was supposed to go differently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Dornwood. I'm a rage and reckless. Okay. So, one more rage down. Divine Fury. I'm still using the mall. Yeah, as you just run up with the mall and just smack her down. Okay. Uh. Uh, you have bonus action and your second attack. I don't have a bonus action, but I do have a. Second oh yeah, attack. you rage. Oh. Um. Would I be able to hold that second attack in case one comes up to me? Not mm, that happen. No, you kind of expended your action. Okay. Well, that's it, then. Adagio, who are you blowing up? Oh, my bad. Uh... Yep, cracks his fingers. I'm gonna casually walk over here. And, uh... Let me get my mushroom tool out. <laughs> Do I feel like burning down a forest? <laughs> He's a fire <laughs> cultist. This isn't Saturday, Fox. There's a fire cultist walking on uh, the yeah, water. Rob, um, Saturday, uh, someone burned down a forest. Nice. Someone or you? No, someone, not me. He's the DM. Well, he could still burn it down. That's true. Okay, right there in that point, fireball. So it's going to hit the three up top? Yeah, and okay. that tree. <laughs> but and, and, damn, acceptable. And the bushes. Smoking the bear is going to kill me. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's a 14, a 21, and a 7. So fail, fail, pass. That one is incinerated. This one, 12 damage. 
and that one is incinerate. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> and that was enough. So, five's got Doran. Those good old sharp long sword. Attack with advantage. What weapon you use in Doran? Um, I don't know. You didn't have to attack with advantage. She was glowing. He forgot. It doesn't matter. It... Yeah. Oh, you're using them all? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 14 to hit anyway. That'll miss. Yeah. As... You see bubbling up in the water, you see a creature pop up out of the water. Where the fuck did he come from? Swimming. It's adorable. Yep. As it's gonna th throw its harpoon at Doran. No. For a twenty three to hit. Fuck. Uh 13 piercing, have two, six. And make a strength check. I have advantage. You get advantage. Yes, yeah. you do. Didn't help. Oh, wait, I did. Yeah, well, fucking it, did. Well, it, it did help. The advantage did help, but this is a, a strength contest against the creature who rolled two dirty 20s. Fuck yeah. Um. So as it stabs you with the harpoon, it drags you 20 feet. Um, Hold up. It's, is the harpoon a tat? Oh, a harpoon. I was thinking trident. Yeah, you got harpoon. Motherfucker uh, ain't Moby Dick. Which Does that give attack of opportunity? Forced movement, no. No. I always get those so confused because there's such a fine line. Her turn, his turn. That one is dead. As you see something swimming nearby you, Ubi, underneath the water that you guys are walking under. As one swims under you guys and behind it Adagio. Oh fuck. Yep, and it's gonna try to bite you first for a natural twenty. Oh fuck. As it bites a chunk out of you as it flies up out of the water for sixteen piercing. That's not as much as I thought it would be. <laughs> um And it's going to just try to claw you as well with a 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. And eight more slashing. Oh boy, have hope. <laughs> Where's this bro? Way up there. 30. Throw a javelin at Doran for a twenty-two to hit. Yeah. Yep. Uh. So seven piercing have two three. They all rolled between us. Jesus. Are they really? So it's all of you guys. Oh no, there's one. Oh no, but that one's There's dead. There's one between us. And that but he's dead, dead yeah. so I just deleted it. Yeah. So it's all of you guys, then all of the <laughs> creatures. That's funny. Um, yeah, and then Doric and Arrow at the very end. Yep. Oh, uh, Dante should technically be in there, but you know what he's doing anyway. Yeah. Uh, 
and yep. you see something else swirling in the water and comes up next to Doran. Who has been dragged 20 feet as this one's going to try to rip into you. Uh, 23 to hit with its bite. And a 20 to hit with its harpoon. Against? You. Oh, fuck. God damn it, yeah. So 8 piercing have to 4, and 16 piercing have to 8. And that one who was on the GM layer was also in the middle of all of them, too. So that's funny. Fits the pattern. And this one's going uh, to throw a javelin. me. Oh, uh, let's see. This one's going to throw a javelin at you for 14. I think that'll miss, though. Yeah, it'll miss. Okay. Now this guy who is behind a wall of water. Um, just counts as what? Difficult terrain? I think so. Don't you take damage to it? No. Oh. It's not a super strong spell. It's more of a sectioning spell. Yeah. Or um, defensive. 10, 20. As you see, he goes, I know that trick. Takes most of his movement to get through it, but he manages to get through it. Um, and he's going to cast a spell. Doran and Ubi make wisdom saves. Okay. Wisdom, that's not a good. Wow, Ubi. So I can't roll for fucking shit. Not I tonight. won't have advantage, sorry. I forgot to slip it off. I don't think it matters. Matter. Nope, it doesn't matter, as he casts Hold Person at third level, and you are both held. No. So you are both paralyzed. Uh, at the end of your turns, you can make another Wisdom save. Uh, that one's dead. Back to your team. Okay. Um... Doric is going to have Mr. Foodles move. He's got like, what, 40 feet or something? Yep. Well, to be fair, he probably would have been walking with us. But... Sorry, he's more of a ranged anyway, so. Yeah, he's better at range. He's going to bonus action cast. Branding Smite on his crossbow. I don't know what that does. Trying to find it for you. Um, okay, so it doesn't do it that way. I got a rule. The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, the weapon gleams with astral radiance as you strike. The attack does an extra 2d6 radiant damage to the target, which becomes visible if it's invisible, and the target sheds dim light for 5 foot. It can't become and invisible it. until the spell ends. Okay, and it's concentration, so... Yeah. Okay. Um, so the next creature it hits, right? Yep. 
Okay. So, 15 to hit the dude. Uh, why does he have disadvantage? Oh, wait, he would have normal attack. Yeah, it should just be normal. Um, I didn't change it off the screen. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, 22 will definitely hit. So, 20 damage. Yes. Nice. And he'll say, you don't touch the blue one. And take a for an 18 to hit. <laughs> nice, that'll hit you. 12 more piercing. Nice, damn. He's been rolling mad damage tonight. Damn. Oh, yeah. Battlesmiths are nuts. So is because they add their intelligence, intelligence to hit things. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's Foodle's movement and his actions. And bonus okay. action. Hero. Uh, hero. I'm going to free action drop the wall of water. Because okay. it was just Eero being a dick. <laughs> and... Casting water on a water cultist. He's like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks for like, that. Like, I don't worry about it. And. You ain't got fireball. What you doing? I have erupting earth. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, be a great That's level fireball too. No. So yeah. Yeah, Thorn's fine. I, I'm gonna just erupting earth from right there. Um. No. It's like twenty foot. So it's like that. Can you put the description in the chat? Because you're doing erupting earth in the middle of a river. There's still ground underneath that. Oh, I know, but... Choose a point you can see on the ground within range. So you're talking right at the shore edge, then. Yep. Because that would be the ground. Fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a 20 foot cube centered on that point. Each creature and magic takes 30 saving throw. A creature takes 3 to 12 bludgeoning. Failed to save or half as successful. Ground in that area becomes difficult to rain until clear. Each creature. Okay. So the erupting earth will come up, but the difficult to rain is not going to affect the water area. That's fine. Um, so. DC 15. Yep. Uh, Doran, that's for you too. No, Doran automatically fails, takes full damage. Oh, shit. He's uh, paralyzed. He's raging. It's bludgeoning damage. Is it bludgeoning? Okay, yeah. So yep. he'll take half because he's raging, but he automatically fails. Okay. So yeah, he will take 14. So 14? Yep. Move your head, little cat. So the first creature fails. Uh, also fails. Their dex no, auto rolls with advantage. The 7, 9, 4, 7. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Not nice. That was pretty good damage, too. An 11 yeah. and a 12. Seven. As it knocks um, this cultist, on the north cultist, and she just gets swallowed up by the earth as it comes back down. And same with that one. You just see the rocks just go bludgeoning into her face as she falls down. <laughs> I look at the dude I was fucking with before and go, I know other spells, too. <laughs> Meh. Anything else? No. No. Um, that was action. Nope. Okay. Uh, Uvi, uh, your make a wisdom save at the end of your turn. Dude, refresh. <laughs> yeah, you're still paralyzed. <laughs> uh, Doran, make a wisdom save at the end of your turn. Leave Doran alone.
Oh, that's why. This has been the night of saves. None of which I have made. <laughs> which is very surprising. Normally, you're just like wham, wham, wham. No. You are. <laughs> you are still. You are still held. Yep. Adagio. Hmm. All right, there's a. Oh. I didn't think whole person was going to work on Ubi, but that was twice. That's awesome. Yeah, plus seven, and I can't get out of a fucking wisdom one. Don't <laughs> know. Know. Smart save. <laughs> hey, at least you got your charisma back. I'm no longer a negative four. I'm only a negative. I can mind four. spike this uh, water thing that popped up behind me. Okay. Oh, 10. No <laughs> damage, but let's see the wisdom save. Uh, 12. So it takes 10 damage. It's looking pretty b busted up. Guess I'll slowly make Three my nine. way towards land. Okay. Right there. All right. End of turn. Their turns. <laughs> yep. Well, the ones that it you guys did onslaught, guys. obliterate, because um, they can't walk on water. Um, this one's going to throw a javelin at um, Doran, who is no longer raging. But is prone, so it would be a disadvantage. No, he's not yes, prone, I he's am. just... Yes, I am, because Eero did damage to me. She did turn as her... long as I am damaged... I keep rage. This. Your, your turn ended and you didn't attack your, it's your last turn to take damage. Okay, yeah, you took damage. Yep, okay. so thank you, Eero, for hitting me with rock. You're welcome. <laughs> Still gets to attack with advantage because you're paralyzed. Yeah. So a 20 to hit as she launches a javelin into your side for six piercing halved to three. Stop throwing shit at me. Stop getting so close. <laughs> That's all I can do. Actually, no, I have 135 crossbow bolts. I should start using them. Um, actually, the distance. Don't ask where I put them. He's going to throw his harpoon at you again. Or 24 to hit. Yeah. And it, uh, 12 piercing half to yeah. 6. And as he stabs you with the harpoon, you automatically fail the strength save as he drags you over towards him and he's going to try to bite you. How does he drag me with a... Oh, he's throwing harpoons. I keep thinking jab ones. Yeah, it's a harpoon. Yeah, it has a special thing where you guys do a strength contest or he gets to pull you 20 feet to you. Yeah, you guys fought one of these on the Friday game on the Did docks. We? Yeah. Yeah. He was trying to get you guys and just couldn't. Um, and his bite is a 17 to hit. Yeah. Is it going to take me underwater again? Can we not uh, drown Doran? That'd be funny. He is taking you away. Um, six piercing have two, three. Hero, help me. Oh, wait. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attack is within five feet. So that's a critical. So um, it's not. Yeah. A it's full another. damage, but have. So oh, I got to roll in. So take another three piercing. Okay. This one is going to try to dive under the water and swim away. Uh, Dodge you, you can attack of opportunity if you would like. Can you use BRB? Stop it with the dagger. Uh, I would see say you... probably with his new dagger. Yeah, let's see. Okay, yeah, you put the dagger on there. Hey! <laughs> 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 and it's max. Is that max damage? Almost, almost, almost. He's one, one more would have been max wow. damage. <laughs> As well, the creature goes it. to dive under the water, Dajio just stabs it right in the face. Is it? <laughs> it, it it dies, but it, it oh, and it still go, manages to go under the water, but just, <laughs> just not as willingly. 
question. Yeah, not Does that well, make mate. Adagio our best rogue we've had so far? Considering he can so. use a dagger. <laughs> As it starts floating away. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the thing only had like what did it have, like three hit points left? Yeah, three. So it was just gonna try to get out of there, but that did not work. Uh, that one is dead. This one. You made a tactical error. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, so, Adad, uh, you, you, I used your reaction if you would look in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I got an at 20. Let me guess, it ran away. <laughs> it, it tried it to. No, it. no, it tried to. <laughs> you stabbed it in the face, and then the body just floated away. Uh huh. It had three hit points. Yeah, it had three hit points oh. left. So you're like, I'm gonna try my new dagger. All shall fear the dagger of Adagio. <laughs> uh, this one's gonna try to harpoon you too, Doran. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but misses with a ten. Um, does it get one with the bite? One with the bite. So it. Can't use its multi attack because you are out of range. It only gets to throw the harpoon once as it winds it back up. So you got lucky there, it missed. You got a 10 with advantage. Um, he is just going to fire a magic missile at Doran. Bitch. I have advantage to hit you, but I better make damn sure. <laughs> That's right. Damn. Well, he, I mean, he didn't have shit. His other option was like ice knife, which would hurt his own guys. So, um, you take twelve force damage. Gotcha, Doran, and that is full damage. Five, ten, fifteen, thirty. All right, back to your guys' turn. That is funny how initiative ended up. All right, movement. Forty. Um, we'll do the same thing. Branding smite. Okay. Is that like a first level spell or a cantrip? It is a second level spell. Oh, shit. Okay. So, we'll do that and we'll put it on. I'll take a shot at this guy. Okay. Dirty 20. Yeah. Oof, nice damage. Oh, plus. plus an additional yeah. ten. Nice, that'll do it. As that uh, arrow goes flying through the creature, and the radiant damage just burns right through its chest as it also begins to tumble down the water. Uh, and then side shot because being cocky, he's gonna take a shot at this person. Okay. <laughs> yep. I was wondering if you guys forgot about that one. Nine piercing. <laughs> Nope. Nine piercing it is. Anything else? Nope. That was bonus action action. Oh, and movement. Yeah, you're you're snug. Hero. Mm -hmm. Uh hero.
See this rock right here? Uh huh. Erupting Earth. Are you gonna cast another one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Lower damage. Oh yeah, much lower. Did you hit Dorn this time again? Nope. No. But you've been getting hit by everything else. So Yeah. No, I'll just making sure that way I'm not taking more damage. Uh creature fails. And he would also have to make a con save from damage. Yeah. Um, the priest passes. Cat, no, lay on the book, not my keyboard, you asshole. Wow, my computer is fucking cold. Okay, did the damages. I'm not putting up difficult terrain. And con save. 18 con saves. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, nope. Uh, I guess I'll move forward and that's it. Okay. Uh, Ubi, end of your turn. Wisdom save. Oh man, this guy's got a 24 DC, Ubi. You gotta do better. Well, shit. I'm, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, end of your turn, you're uh, no longer held. Yay! <laughs> Doran, <laughs> you've been moving, but you've been paralyzed. Uh, wisdom save at the end of your turn. I'm back. What's up? Wisdom. Uh, wisdom. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my uh, laptop fucking closed and turned everything off. Oh, that's Ubi's. Alright. Did it not go through? There it goes. There it goes. Nine, you are still paralyzed. Yep. They really don't like me. Adagio. Yeah. Adagio the knife man. One second. Go up. Up and land here. Uh, guess I fireball him. You get a fireball. <laughs> yeah, fireball. No fireball. Oh, fireball. My bad. Hit. Uh, yeah, sixteen will hit. Let I mean, me I could fire. fireball him. And con save. Uh, you did 11, so DC 10, uh, 13 con save. Uh, bonus action, or you don't really have any? Nah. Okay. This guy who's kind of getting left behind. Yep. You're still in range, Eero, so she's going to pull out her javelin and throw it at Eero. Uh, I think he said BRB, but that's a nat 20, so she can't shield it anyway for 14 piercing. That one is dead. Um, this one is going to try to harpoon Doran. Because it's fun. For a nat 20. At least they're keeping you raging by they keep hitting you, Doran. You hear, Doran? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, nat 20, does 24 piercing have to 12? Okay. And drags you up to it. 5, 10. And it's going to try to bite you. Oh, but misses with advantage with a 14. Pretty. Oh, wait. The attack that hit... Oh, it's the attack that hits the creature. Is it... Any attack that hits the creature's crew. Okay. It didn't hit me. Yep, didn't hit you. Um, five. Three. You found Doran's weakness. Fucking wisdom saves. 
<laughs> Everybody's got a wheel of charisma, too. Uh, yeah, this guy's just going to magic missile you again. Why are they, they all going after Dorn? I've done nothing to them. Well, they're they the want, closest there. And... They, want, they want Dorn. You don't know why. As you take 17 force damage. <laughs> don't worry. You got Uvi. Um, back to your guys' turn. Uh, are you <clears throat> back? You back, Nas? Yeah. Okay. While you were gone, too, the uh, you got hit for like 14 damage. Okay. Um, oh. Which I already took off. I like this just flip flopping sides. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. She she threw a javelin at you and got a nat 20. 16. Uh, 16 hits. 10 piercing. Uh, still standing, but looking pretty bad. Uh, yep, that'll do it. She only had like three left after that. Put two quick arrows into her. Because she was trying to run away. Don't think we forgot about you. I ugh. Yeah, it's full movement. Okay. Hero? Who's holding me? Holding you? Uh, oh, hold personing. Oh, this guy. Oh. Yeah, he's done a couple con saves, but he's passed him. Don't have any more erupting earth. You bastard. <laughs> I'd say you you make your own not do melee fight, she's gonna make things blow up. <laughs> Just not with fire. It's um, a Dagio's thing. Yes. Uh Firebolt. Why the fuck not? Uh which one? Don't know. I don't have the plus two, but it's gonna be on this guy. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah, nineteen will hit. Eleven. Oh. And con save. Oh, that's a seven on the con save. Woo! Get up, Doran. <laughs> Do something. Four hit point, yeah, motherfucker. Like uh, Ubi, uh... Oh, that's right, you saved last turn, so you got your turn now. Yes, I can actually do stuff. <laughs> yeah, you did Spiritual Guardians first round, and Guiding Bolt. Spiritual Weapon. Yeah, you wouldn't think... I didn't think the Wisdom save was going to work on Ubi, but damn. Yeah, my saves this session has been abysmal. I mean, Rob knows, but the Priest didn't know. <laughs> So, I'm guessing Doran looks a little fucked up right now. Doran looks like he's about to pass the fuck out. If that's the case, I'll give him a healing word. Okay. <laughs> oh, 11 points. You, like, triple his hit points. Out of a 96, I was feeling about a 4. Well, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. That's a lot to take Fucking out of Barbarian, Rob though. holding me for five rounds didn't help. <laughs> uh, do worth, you, worth it. Would yeah. I have used my high-level slots just yet for the sendings? Um, you said you did. Fair enough. I cast Guiding Bolt at level two. On uh, which one? Which one? Yeah, everybody's going after the priest all of a sudden. 
He's important, kind of. Take out the caster. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a lot of damage. Uh -oh. He's looking pretty fucked up, but he's still up. I know what the fuck is glowing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Dora, <and> have fun. <laughs> well, that was action bonus, so yeah, go have fun. Go get him, Doran. I can certainly try. Go fetch. Good boy. Oh, all right. Oh. Lucky you got that movement. <laughs> yep. You see Dorn fucking book it to this dude. <laughs> Hi, motherfucker, as I'm going to recklessly try to attack him. You have advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but he if, 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 him, if he goes to reckless, up. it'll get an advantage on the second attack, too. Exactly. Well, can't you choose reckless on the second attack? No, you gotta choose it for all oh, it attacks. It doesn't really matter at this point, then. Yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> As you just run up and just smack this dude and just crush his chest in. As he just collapses in a heap. Yeah, I'm just, since I can't really do... Ooh, you can yes, bonus can. action. Bonus action. <laughs> Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> and it's... Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I don't have to find theory, but yeah. Wait till wait till you see how many hit points they had left, though. And yeah, the the priest had two hit points when you nat twenty did it. Mhm. Mm and this guy ha had one left. <laughs> <laughs> that. So how do you want to do it? For holding me for five rounds. <laughs> you just gonna Hulk smash? Yeah. Just <laughs> right into its fucking stomach. Denting it. As it collapses and goes back under the water and starts floating away like the other ones. No, I'm gonna you just wanted to be a dick to a water cultist. No, I'm <laughs> dragging it to the battle, shore. I'm happy. <laughs> Dorn, chill the fuck fight. out. Um, it goes under the water, and you're not really able to reach under it. Damn it. Because remember, you have an ability that is keeping you on water. Oh. Yeah, so yep. it probably would have kept keep going. Held. Yep, as they float away. That one is GM layer. That was for money. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I guess search the ones over here, wading through rocks and stone. <laughs> yeah, um, you find a couple of those shark tooth long swords if you want those. Um, a couple have those like hermity crab shields. Um, you find a couple fishing poles. Uh, there's two nets. I would like to grab two fishing poles and a net. Uh -oh. Yeah, Doran is up to 35 hit points to your half if you want them. So 35? Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, up to half your Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was... Rough for Doran. Nope. Daggio took a little bit. Iro took a little bit. Doran took a beat. I was down to four at one point. Yeah. I mean, I technically healed myself, but I was still full. <laughs> you feel very refreshed, and your beard's intact. Oh, I mean, well, it's only that when I'm dealing with stuff on fire. <sighs> so that was about a half day. Yeah, I think up to this point we can pretty much just go straight line. Um...
Yeah. Um, how much longer do you guys want to keep playing, though? Uh, I gotta stop like around nine ish, so I can get working on some other stuff for tomorrow. Okay. So finish this day and long rest. So make sure you guys do all your long resty stuff as we end the. I mean, I'll ask the question, considering we're probably going to finish up within the next few minutes. Do mm -hmm. we level up? <laughs> no. Hey. You guys were supposed to see Scarlet Moon Hall a while ago. <laughs> hey, if you don't ask, you don't get. I know. You guys were overleveled for that place. Yeah, that's why he added a fiend and a bunch of me freaks. A bunch of Oh, oh, the methods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the feet, the methods. It had mentioned something about them, but I thought it'd be fun to just to include them all. And then the uh, yeah, the fiend was that yeah, was completely like I I saw it the monster manual. And I was like, where the hell am I gonna add this thing? I mean, to be fair, was... I don't think Doran's charisma thinks he was over leveled. <laughs> he could have died. From that thing. Yeah, I know. Uh oh. So that is five days. Just can't seem to kill Doran. No, but that was fun. Um, so five days, and you he's got close. I think ninety he's miles to go. One. I think I've done no. I think I've done two death saves, but that was with the fucking abyssal chickens. That's the only time he's gotten me into death saves. Did I? Are you? Mm -hmm. Well, a couple times you've gone down, but they just bring you right back up. Yeah. Yeah. No, the um, abyssal chickens that was actually doing death saves. I thought you were in the air temple too. No, he wasn't. I I got him back up every time he went down. Yeah. Because he down, was in another dimension. I went and... down like four times there, but I went got back up. I didn't go death saves. Um, everybody do their long rest stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm taking, oh, the, I'm taking the bucket of fish. Okay. They're not going to last, you know, that long. They would just be extra food over the last couple days. Yeah, basically cooking food for us, making, mm -hmm. eating them. Yeah, instead of something other than ubies and berries. Yeah. Hey, talk shit and you won't get any more. I ain't talking Fine, shit. Fine, don't like, give them any more. I don't uh, like your good berries anyway. Won't, then. Yeah. I don't care if you don't give them out. Um, so we're going to end it shortly, but at the end of the day, we need to roll our watches. Uh, I've got one. Who's, who's going first? I'll do it, just get it over. Because you all know something's sh Uh, 30. A 30. <laughs> there is no God. You hear everything. Dirty 30. Um. <laughs> okay, second watch. I assume nothing happened. Might as well. No, you kept such a good watch, and nothing even came close to the camp. Mosquitoes stayed away. Doran can take two of them, I think, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Don't have advantage, but. No. Why well, Dampa doesn't have to sleep? <laughs> nope. That's so weird. Familiars because... familiar should have to sleep. I feel like they're a creature. They're not. They're just energy. I know. They're magic. <laughs> but yeah, Dante would have been up because he watches over Eero the whole night as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
So um, towards the end of your watch, Doran, you start to hear weird gibbering noises and voices. Okay. You hear voices saying that? Uh, yes. Uh, both sounds like different voices. I different. Just don't understand it. Different growling. Uh, it does sound kind of like uh, it's gibberish. You can't really comprehend it anything coherently. Um, okay. As you see something type to um, slop off from off the north. What the fuck? Ah, oh, god damn it. As that's where we're going to end session.